He had done, and the great preaching that uh, he had done, and the unusual things of his life, so he became an unusual person. Amen. And I wish to stop here just long enough to say this, that most always... When you find God in a person, you find the most unusual person Amen. being used in the most unusual way. So Jesus was this type of person. 
And he attracted the people to find out just what he was Amen. and who he was. And, of course, these Greeks were pagans, heathens, because Greeks worshipped idols. And they were great... Um, uh, well, I would say sculptures and athletes, and they had a lot of art, Greeks did, great Grecian art that's never been competed uh, even to this day until their arts, and they were great athletic people, and being knowing that there was some God somewhere and they had thousands of them that they worshipped. And they had heard of a historical God that uh, done great miracles in the, among the Hebrews. And then they had also heard that this God that used to be the miracle-working Hebrew God was over there in their land with them again. So it attracted their attention. So they came to see Jesus and notice usually the way that people want to find Jesus is to find somebody who knows how to take them to him, Amen. a leader or one of his servants is the way they find him. So Jesus, if he ever chooses a servant, he always chooses somebody that will bring the people to him because it's his purpose to serve the people. Now, we find that they were brought into his presence. Now, these Greeks, Philip, they consulted Philip and Philip said, Now, here is someone that wants to see our Lord. So it wouldn't be just right for me to have the honor to introduce these Greeks to my Lord. So I'll go get Andrew to go with me. And so they went and got Andrew. And Andrew and Philip both came and, and presented these Greeks to Jesus. Now, here is a great thing. And a text that's unusual... Just as soon as these Greeks was pointed to Jesus, Jesus did not point to himself. Or he did not make himself known to them. Because you cannot know Jesus in that way. Amen. Jesus isn't known in that way. But as soon as we see here in the Scripture that when these Greeks brought, uh, was brought up to Jesus and was in His presence, it looks like that Jesus would have said, Well, this is I. I am the Messiah of the Jewish race. It's been predicted by uh, the prophets, by inspiration down through the centuries. And I am here now, and I am the born of Nazareth. I'm a, a Jewish mother. My father is God. And I'm here now to make myself known to you Greeks. Now, that would be more like the 1961 version of it. Yeah. But look, as soon as they were brought in his presence, that's the main thing. Get the people in his presence. Amen. And as soon as in his presence, Jesus said, except the corn of wheat falls into the ground and dies, it abides alone. What an unusual thing instead of accepting their introduction. The thing he done was pointed them to a place that they could find him. Amen. Except the corn of wheat falls into the ground and dies, it abides 
alone. What did he do here? He pointed them to that great truth, how to see him. They could not see him in the way of eternal life, just standing there the way he was. He was a man. A few mornings ago, I had a vision about nine or ten o'clock in the morning. I had been praying to the Lord, feeling a call moving me constantly for the foreign fields this year. Start right away. All the world. I want to go to Norway. And I want to go to Germany, Africa. And many of the nations this year, if the Lord willing, just a call in my heart to go. And I was praying to the Lord, and a vision came over my eyes. And I was standing, then walked like across the floor and entered into a, a room where there was a two women especially one was at a counter and the other was at a counter. They were selling different things. Well, I stood for a moment and wondered what it was about. Then I seen a man came in and he bought from the woman at this counter a little bottle of perfume that goes to another, his wife perhaps. Then I walked up and I said, uh, how much is that perfume? I would like some for my wife, but I want the lilac. I like lilacs. And he said, or the woman said, rather, the, this small bottle that that man bought for his wife is 40 cents, but it isn't lilac. This other bottle of lilac is $1.98. And I said, I will take that. And I went to my uh, purse to get the money, and I thought I gave her two one-dollar bills. Handing back, she said, Sir, I don't know this money. And she handed it back to me, and it was a Canadian five-dollar bill. And I said, Pardon me. I thought it was a dollar. I said, Then I am um, I'm a missionary. And I, in the, my missions, I get money from different parts of the world. And in this, I have um, made a mistake. So she... Um, uh, gave me the $5 bill back and I gave her the American $1 bill and she gave me the change. And she said, missionary? And I said, yes, ma'am. And while I was talking or looking at her, she looked over to the next woman and she kind of nodded her head. And she said, dear, do you believe that Brother Branham is right? That we women today will have to live like he told us. With the cutting of our hair and the wearing of our apparel and things like that. Said, so don't you think that he is wrong in that? She said, yes. Uh, and, and she said, go ahead, honey. You, Ruth or whatever her name was, said, you have the inspiration. Say it. Well, quickly, I knew I was in the vision, so I knew that that was them two women always. See, the both oneness and Trinity Church, there they stand there. And said, uh, yes, said, I don't think we should because we have never seen his eyes. We have never seen his makeup. We wouldn't know what he looked like. So why would we do it? And I had on an old patrol suit. And I said to the woman, I said, just a moment, my sisters. See, you do have to live just according to the Bible. No matter how it was. She said, but we never lived back there and we never seen him. I said, I have seen him. And I said, the thing of it is, I thought, Lord, and I'm before two great smart churches. Now you've got to give me wisdom. And so then I heard myself go to talk and I want you to examine it. Never thought of it in my life. I said, a man today has to be like he was then because he's the same man. He's made up of five senses. And if he stood and looked at him right in the face, he would still have to have that sixth sense of faith to believe him no matter what he looked like. He'd have to believe him anyhow. And they hid their faces with shame. 
and said, we never saw it, sir, like that, and started going off. Then I turned and started to the mission field, which I know was a, uh, a call back to the field. Now, see, he pointed them there in his presence. Christ pointed them to the truth. He said, how to see him was to go to the cross. There's where it's at, at the cross. Except the corn of wheat falls, it abides alone. And if he did not die, he would, would have to abide alone himself if he did not die. But him being the corn of wheat that fell into the ground, and then if it falls into the ground, he said, it'll bring forth abundance. Uh, if it falls into the ground and dies. First, it has to be a gerbidized grain or it won't bring forth nothing. But it has to have life in it before it can fall into the ground. And he had eternal life in him Amen. because he was Emmanuel. Amen. And he had to give his own life in order to bring forth life again. Take like the wheat. You say, how could one grain of wheat? Here's what happens. One grain falls in. It brings forth a hundred grains. A hundred grains falls in, brings forth a thousand grains. A thousand grains falls in and brings forth a million grains. A million grains falls in and brings forth a, a barge load. And on and on and on till it feeds the whole world. Amen. That's what he meant. If I live my life alone and die this way, and let's live my life alone, well, then there'll be no fruit after me. But if I fall into the ground uh, under the will of God and I'll bring forth a new birth. And in that new birth, it'll bring forth another with new birth and another with new birth until the whole world will be missionary and gospel preached. This gospel must be preached in all the world for a witness unto me. These signs shall follow them that believe. So if we ourselves and in our ministry and in our thoughts and in our life, if we abide as we are, we can do no good. We've got to also die at the altar Hallelujah. or we'll live alone. Amen. We'll live to some denomination or some creed. We'll live to some organization. But if we die to ourselves, then the Holy Amen. Spirit will be spread forth everywhere by our lips. Hallelujah. We've got to die. Hey, God. So many today. So it is like now that if we must realize that we've got to die in order to bring forth a uh, uh, new life. Amen. So he said so much in this. If you want to see me, you must die. Die to yourself, and then you'll bring forth a new life. Now, if we want to see him, if you ever expect to see him, you'll never see him by some joining a church, some book of laws that you keep, some creeds that you serve. You'll see him when you die. Amen. When you come to Calvary and are crucified to yourself, then you'll see Jesus. Hallelujah. We would see him first. Before he said anything, he pointed them to the place to find him. Like all Gentiles or all people, you find Jesus at the cross when you're crucified with him. Amen. Today, we try to find him in everything. We try to find him in a church building. We try to find him in a denomination. We try to find him in saying some creed. We try to find him by keeping certain days, by obeying certain rituals. But we cannot find him until we come to Calvary. Amen. Help us, Lord. There we are crucified. Fall into the dust of the earth and die to ourselves. And then reborn again. Then we find Jesus. Oh, so many try today to hold yourself and maintain your own idea. I've got my way of it. 
I believe this, but you cannot find Christ until you die to yourself and accept Him, the Word. Then you find life. That's it. How different today. How different today today with the churches or the disciples of today. What do they do? If you come to disciples today, them disciples, before they did anything, they took these Greeks right into the presence of Jesus. Amen. And if he's the same yesterday and forever, he'll have to act the same today if you're brought in his presence. Amen. Help us, Lord. Disciples today is so much different. For today they try to take you to a cradle or a manger or to a Santa Claus or to a bunny rabbit for Easter or something other instead of Christ. They never bring you the presence of Christ. Christmas isn't Christ. No. Today, they bring you some other place, uh, some statue, some church, some organization, some doctrinal laws, but never get you in the presence of Christ. A real true disciple will bring you right straight in the presence of Christ. And from there, Christ would show you what you had to do. Amen. Now, the Spirit... Is gone from Christmas, someone said today. I heard him on the radio said a man giving an argument, a minister, about so many people today saying Christmas isn't this and we ought to have Santa Claus and things. And that fellow tried to make his points clear that if you tuck Santa Claus out of Christmas, you tuck the spirit out. You tuck the spirit of Santa Claus out. That's true. And the spirit of Santa Claus isn't Santa, some myth of Germany, a German Catholic tradition, is not the spirit that makes Christmas. Amen. The spirit Christ pointed to was the Holy Spirit, which is not a celebration, but a worship of a living God. But he said you'd take uh, Santa Claus out. There's no more spirit in Christmas. Could you imagine a minister saying that on the air? But that's what he said. He said, you take Santa Claus out and you've got no more spirit of Christmas. Well, it might be using the word Christ mass. You might not have much of that. But you take Santa Claus out of your life. Open up your heart and let Christ come in. Amen. Die to these things of the world in order to have the real Christmas. Yes, it's a lot different than what it used to be. But it's changed. Not, not Christ hasn't changed. The disciples today is a lot different from the disciples of old. Today the disciples brings the speakers, or the seekers rather, in, instead of the disciples of old brought the seeker into the presence of God, and today, the disciples of the day bring them into the presence of some church organization, some affiliation, some creed, some doctrine, instead of bringing them into the presence of Christ. We take the word Christmas. It's very seldom you ever hear Christ's name mentioned. You don't hear it mentioned. The lights and tinsel is all on Santa Claus, not on Christ. The people hardly knows what Christmas is really for. They've just paganized it and paganized it till it's all become pagan. It's a great commercial day of celebrations. Now, if they want to make a commercial day like Mother's Day or Father's Day or Son's Day or Daughter's Day, that's all right. But keep that commercial off of Christmas. Uh, I seen a sign not long ago. It said, "Put Christ back in Christmas." <laughs> now, they bring you to a church. You learn a creed. They bring you to a Christmas. What do you do? You see a Santa Claus. 
they bring you to a church, you see an organization. But Christ brought them to the cross. Amen. And when you get a real disciple that will point you to Christ, Christ will bring you to the cross where you are crucified with him. Amen. And his eternal life and your life meet together. Amen. And your life dies and you take on his eternal life and then you're a son of God. Amen. Amen. What a difference from the disciple of old and the disciple of today. If you mention to a disciple, I would love to know the Lord Jesus. Well, I look, we belong to the certain, certain church. Come down and join, join us. See? Or we, was, uh, we belong to this certain, certain society and come join that. And uh, that's what you hear. But Christ himself parted people to his death Amen. and said, except the corn of wheat falls into the ground, it abides alone. Oh, how different it is. Yes, sir. How different. But your life and his life find each other, not at the church, not in a building, not in a creed, not in good works, Amen. but in the cross. Amen. Where you are crucified with him, that's where you find Christ. You don't find him by doing better, turning a new page, starting a new life. You don't find Christ. You find Christ only in death. Not in a manger, not in a confession to believe in certain creeds and fables. You don't find Christ there. A true servant takes you to him, and he is the word. Amen. You say that, Brother Branham. If Christ is on earth today, a real servant would take him to him. Christ. Well, Christ is here in the form of the Word. Amen. And the Word brings life because He is the Word. Amen. Christ is the Word. Yes, yes sir. Hallelujah. He is the Word Himself. The true servant always takes you to the Word. Now, He is the Word. He is this Bible made living. Amen. And when you die to yourself with Christ like a corn of wheat, then the Word lives in you. Oh, glory. Brings forth the same results as it did in that living corn of wheat that had to drop into the earth. Amen. You're partakers in His resurrection. You're partakers with Him in all of His blessings, in all of His manifestations. You're Amen. partakers with Him in all that He did. Now, He is the Word with its true interpretation. Now, you say, oh, we believe the Bible, sir. We believe the Bible. But now, if you believe the Bible, Jesus said this in the Bible. St. John fourteen twelve. He that believeth on me... The works that I do shall he do also. That's the true interpretation of the Bible. For God himself is in you speaking back his own interpretation. Hallelujah. That's the true interpretation. God in you interpreted his own words. Amen. Didn't Jesus say, These signs shall follow him at least? Hallelujah. God in you, giving his own interpretation. You don't have to look to somebody else. No. Said so the word says this, believe it. Amen. Amen. And it'll interpret itself because it's God using you to interpret his own word. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, Christ is the living interpretation of his own word. Amen. Let's look at some how he interpreted the word. Now, if he's got the right interpretation. Now we go down here at the Methodists, they say, we got the right interpretation. The Baptists, they say, we got the right interpretation. Presbyterian, we got the right interpretation. Church of Christ, so-called, we got the right interpretation. All of us got the right interpretation. They're all different. One from another. Then there's something wrong somewhere. Now, 
The only way we can find is to find the way Jesus told the Jews how to interpret the Word. Praise God. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. And if Christ said so, that makes it right. Amen. The Methodists say the way our brethren interpreted the council. The Baptists say the way we interpreted. The Presbyterians say the way we interpreted. But it's the way that Jesus interpreted. Amen. That's right. Let's look at how he interpreted the word. He said, if I do not the works of my Father's word, don't believe me. Oh, amen. That settles it. Hallelujah. That's how he interpreted it. He said, if you can't believe me, believe the works that I've done. Amen. And if I do not the works of my Father, don't believe it at all. Amen. amen. Oh, glory. That settles it. Hallelujah. He that believeth on me the works that I do, shall he do also. Now, it's got to be something right and something wrong. Or either, what are we doing? What are we playing about? What are we going around here pretending to be Christians and doing this, that, and the other, and joining these creeds and shaking hands with this kind of Pentecost or that, or Methodist or Presbyterian or Baptist or Catholic? What's it all about? What are we doing? Playing hide the racer? Uh, Cat and mouse? Uh, Where are we at? And there's only one way, Amen. only one foundation, Amen. there's only one sure way. Amen. That's the interpretation oh, that Amen. Jesus gave the word. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's the interpretation that's right. So if I don't do the works that God said I'd do, then don't believe. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise. That's the interpretation. The interpretation today is, Jesus said, He that believeth on me the same works that I do, shall he do also. Amen. And the scripture also said, He's the same yesterday and forever. Oh, God. Jesus said, That's how to know whether I come from God or not. Yeah. That's how to come to know. They said, Now, wait a minute. We got Abraham to our father. He said, Our fathers eat man in the wilderness. And, and Jesus said, They're all dead. We drink water from a smitten rock, and they're all dead. He said, but I'm that bread of life that come from God out of heaven. And it isn't me that speaks. It's my Father that dwells in me. He is the interpreter of that divine word, and he proves again that he is God because he's doing right with me what he said he would do. Amen. That's the scripture. That's a message to get to people. Amen. Not a cradle, not a manger. Amen. Christmas is not mentioned in the entire book of the Bibles. Amen. Never one time did Jesus refer them to his birth. That's right. But to his death. Yeah. Not one time did Jesus ever say join a church. Amen. Not one time did he ever say recite a creed. But he said, come unto me. And he said, he that does come, the works that I do will follow him just as it is me. For if I don't do the works of the Father, believe me not. Because the word said when the Messiah come, these things will take place. He'll be a prophet. Amen. Yes, he'd be a prophet. He'd be a seer. Amen. Like Moses was. Holy. The lame would leap like a heart. Amen. The blind would see. Yes, glory. The deaf would hear and the dumb would speak. He would show forth in him how he could perform the signs of the Messiah. Amen. Now, if the signs of the Messiah doesn't vindicate my ministry, he said, then don't believe me. Amen. But here's where you interpret the word, he said. If I don't have these signs, then don't believe it. Amen. But if I produce the signs, and you can't believe me interpreting the word, believe the signs, for they speak of the word. Oh, glory. <laughs> That's the real interpretation of it. Hallelujah. That's it. That's the message. You don't have to take nobody's word. You don't have to join any church. You can't join a church. You can join these organizations. 
But the church of God, you're born into it from Calvary. Amen. Say, bless God, I am too, Brother Bram. And the works that Jesus did, you'll do also. That's what Jesus said. Works that I do. What? He said, the works that I do testify me. Amen. Oh, Hallelujah. Amen. The works that I do, they give witness. Don't you see, in other words, the signs of the Messiah? Can't you see what the Messiah was to do? And you don't believe I got the right interpretation of the word? Then why is my father backing it up? You think I'm too hard on your organizations, he said? If you think I'm too, uh, too radical, and you say I'm a madman, I got a devil, I've lost my mind. They told Jesus he was mad. Mad means crazy. You're crazy. You don't belong to our groups. And you're out here like a madman. You've lost your mind. Then Jesus could say to them this. Then if you are of God, where is the signs of God? If you believed in Moses, where is the signs of Moses with you? If you believed in the prophets, where is the sign of the prophets with you? So if you can't believe I've got the right interpretation, believe the signs, for they testify that I'm right. Hallelujah. They are the ones that testify me. They give record whether I'm right or not. All the followers giving me will follow it and come to it. No man will be able to come unless the Father's calling. Right. Yet he had done so many works, the Bible said. Yet they could not believe him because Isaiah said they got ears and can't hear. Eyes and can't see. They're blind as a bat. Yet they can't see it because the prophets said they couldn't. Now, same thing is today as it was then. Yeah, it said if you can't, I do the words. It's not me that do speak of the word. Not me that doeth the words otherwise. It's my Father. And if you know what God was... God was the creator. God was the one that was up on Moses. And God in Moses foretold my day. God was in the Old Testament, he said. So much as to say, the one that was up on the prophets told you that the chief prophet would come someday. And to him the children would be gathered. If you can't believe what I'm interpreting the word to you, then believe the sign. For they speak of me. Oh, they couldn't believe. They, they couldn't see it. He was God in the flesh. Because what was he? He was the word made manifest. He was what God had promised. Listen, Bram Tabernacle. Buckle yourself down on this Christmas Eve night. See? If he wasn't, then God would not have vindicated him. Amen. Certainly. In other words, he could say, which one of your groups, Pharisees, Sadducees, or whatever they might be, which one of your men, which of your high priest, which of your scholars, that God uses to speak his word to and manifest it to say it's right? Well, they could say, our men are educated. We're smart. We know that Bible from generation to generation. Well, then why don't God make it live again in that man if it's God's Word? I and my Father are one, not three. We are one. God is in him. God speaks to him. He is the more his own. But he is God's voice Amen. to human lips. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And every believer in it tonight is likewise yes. possessed. So possessed, so completely given over to his words, they come like the words of Christ. Hallelujah. He speaks, oh, and the word is made flesh. Amen. He speaks, and the word is manifested. The works that I do shall you do also. These signs shall follow them and believe. Isaiah said, in the 42nd chapter we just read, 
Great light has come. Light! Amen. Oh, I don't want to get off the subject. But the greatest light that ever shined was shining that humble little Nazarene. A man with no beauty, we should desire him. A man without education, worldly speaking. A man that know not the rituals and things of this world, but could tie demons. Amen. Amen. Raise the dead. And devils trembled. God recognized him from heaven and spoke back, This is my beloved son. Not before the plutocrats. But before a selected group that he had called. Hallelujah. Great light. Why, greater light was shining from his word. Amen. What was the word? Christ. Amen. He was what? The word brought to life. Amen. And the word brought to life gave a greater light than he did when he said, Let there be light in Genesis. That was the light of a creation. A mortal creation which must fall. But his word was life eternal and light eternal. And when a man believed that, he had eternal light. Light to those that sit in the regions of the shadows of death, Matthew 4. Bring light to the Gentiles who are possessed and condemned by God in her idols. But he come into life. What did he say? Thy word is a light to my path. A light to light uh, path to my, uh, to my feet. To guide me. And today, the light of God is the word of God made manifest. Hallelujah. The light. Made manifest. Amen. The light is the works of God, spoken by the Word of God, brought to life. Amen. And it's a greater light Amen. than it was at the dawn of creation. Amen. 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 Oh, light Praise to the, the Lord. lamp to the path, my oh God. Glory. Glory to God. Praise light. The Word and darkness as we are today. Filled with creeds and denominations. Filled with sensations and fanaticism. Open hearts to sepulchers of any kind of a spirit that would even deny this word from being the truth. And say that days of miracles is past. There's no such a thing as the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Speaking with tongues. Prophets and so forth. They died years ago. Then to see God... In the midst of darkness, the darkness of creed, the darkness of denominations, take his word and a bunch of people that will believe it and shine forth his light and his life. It's more light. It's eternal light. More than what it was at the dawn of creation. Let there be light. And there was light. Certainly. Now, Jesus never said, now, he's going to bring them to Bethlehem. Jesus never said to the Greeks when they come up, now, just a moment. If you want to see it, I'll take you back to Bethlehem where I was born. And I'll tell you how it happened back there. Was not. He pointed them to a future place if they want to know him. If you want to know me, in other words, I won't take you back and tell you when I was born to Bethlehem and all about that.
Song, we'd like to request kindly if you have a songbook in your phone, 
you can just use it because uh, we might have some issues with the projector so kama uko na songbook kwenye simu and we are all advised to have a songbook on our phones so this is the right time to use it amen as we sing the song so on the wings of her snow white of god sends down his pure sweet love a sign from my on the wings of a dove and no one drifts yes on the flood's many days for his son for land yes in various ways amen and troubles he had some oh but not from above for god gave him his sign on the wings of a dove yes on the wings of us no white god sends down his pure sweet love a sign from above yes on the wings of a dove and jesus our savior he came to us one day for he was born in a stable yes in a manger of hay and though he rejected he was not rejected from above yes but not from above and God gave us his sign amen on the wings of a as we stand this morning on the wings of a snow white dove yes on the wings of a snow white dove God sends down his pure sweet love a sign from above and though we have suffered yes in many a way and I cried for healing both night and day faith wasn't forgotten but my faith wasn't forgotten hallelujah yes by the father above for god gave me his sign yes on the wings of a dove hallelujah on the wings of a dove on the wings of a smoke white Yes, God sends down His pure sweet love. It's a sign from above. On the wings of a dove. Amen. The Lord spoke to Moses. Told him what to say. Children of Israel, yes, in Goshen that day. Let's talk in today. Slay the lamb, take the blood, and strike the post at the door. For I'll pass through Egypt. this night and smite all the firstborn and let
let the dead angels pass. Amen. For God's bright safe at last. For in the token he gave. Hallelujah. And that we could be saved. And oh, hallelujah. And glory to God. For the blood's been applied, His Spirit abides. Let the dead angel come. Amen. I'd like to go a bit higher. Amen. So that we can sing that song well. The token today. Believe that, believe that you've all applied the token this morning. Amen. Amen. Let the dead angel pass. For God's bright safe at last. For in the token he gave that we could be saved. And oh, hallelujah, and glory to God. For the blood's been applied. Abides and let the dead angel. The first times, everyone, the Lord spoke to Moses, and the Lord spoke to Moses. As we clap this morning, yes, and told him to say, Hallelujah to the children of Israel. Yes, in Goshen that day. What are they told to do? Slay the lamb, take the blood, and strike the post at the door. Yes, for I'll pass through Egypt this night. Then smite all the firstborn, and let the dead angel pass. For God's bride, safe at last, and in the token He gave that we could be saved. Hallelujah and glory to God for the blood's been applied, His Spirit abides, and let the dead angel, even the sweet Holy Spirit, and the sweet Holy Spirit. Yes, since the token today, and don't let her under it. Yes, God say let me say, and outside of this token, the lost will be bound. Your love could say, let's get them in now, and let the dead angel pass, God's bright, safe at last, oh yes, in the token he gave, that we could be saved. And oh, hallelujah, and glory to God. For the blood 
God's been up night, His spirit abide, and let the dead angel pass. Amen. We'd like to bow our heads kindly for a word of prayer as we start the service this morning. Precious Heavenly Father, how we are grateful, Lord, that you've provided that token in our midst, Father. The blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we are grateful, Lord, that each one of us, Father, we believe has accepted that life, Lord. Dear Lord God, we pray thee, if there be one in our midst, Father, that has not yet accepted that life of the Lamb, the Lord Jesus Christ, help us to accept him this morning, Father, that our lives might match the word. And dear Lord Jesus Christ, we might walk the walk of holiness, Father. We love you, Lord, and we honor you that you've gathered us in your midst this morning. We thank you for the health of our bodies, Lord, the breath of life, Father. And dear Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you, Lord, for, for every child that has gathered here, Lord. Those that may be sick, Father, that have not been able to be with us, may remember them in a special way, Lord. May you touch them, Father, for the glory of your name. We thank you, Lord, for the blessings in our midst, Father. We thank you for all that you've done unto us. As we start this service, Lord, may you forgive us of all our sins. May you wash us with thy precious blood. Lord God, may you guide us according to your will, Father. Dedicate our dear pastor, Lord, into your hands, the associate pastor, Father, the deacons, the trustees, and every member of this church, Lord, and to your caring hands, Father, as you start this service, Lord. Speak to us one more time, Father, through thy word. The Lord Jesus Christ may anoint our pastor for the glory of your name. We love you and honor you now, and may you bless the songs, Lord, that you're going to sing, Lord Jesus. We pray this believe and trust in you, fathers. In Jesus Christ, let me pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you one more time. Amen. Maybe you can just turn to your neighbor and welcome them to the service this morning. Amen. If the project happens to fail, I'd like to request kindly you can use your phone. But the scorer says it will be a, bit, a little bit easy, so we believe everything will be all right. Amen. to clap as we start the service this morning. I'm gonna stay right under the blood. I'm gonna stay right under the blood. I'm gonna stay right under the blood. Where the devil can do me no harm. One more time. I'm gonna stay right under the blood. Yes, I'm gonna stay right under the blood. I'm gonna stay right under the blood. Where the devil can do me no harm, no harm, no harm, no harm, no harm. Yes, no harm, no harm, no harm, no harm, no harm, no harm. Where the devil can. One more time, I'm gonna live right under the blood. I'm gonna live right under the blood. I'm gonna live right under the blood. Where the devil can no harm, no harm, no harm, no harm. Yes, no harm, no harm, no harm, no harm. No harm, no harm, where the devil can do me no harm. I'm gonna pray right under the blood. I'm gonna pray right under the blood. Yes, I'm gonna pray right under the blood, where the devil can. I'm gonna pray right under the blood one more time. I'm gonna pray right under the blood. I'm gonna pray right under. Yes, I'm gonna pray right. Yes, where the devil can do me no harm, 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 no harm. Amen. We'd like to sing. Amen. To vote a pamoja, to vote a kopendo. Amen. As we, I believe the song is not on there, but we, I believe it's a chorus that we all know. If you do, if you happen to, to 
fail to know it, don't worry after the first time we sing it, all will be well. Amen. Tuvute pamoja. So we'll first start with the song, then we'll show the actions after we get the song. Amen. Let's clap as we start that song. Tuvute, tuvute pamoja. Tuvute kwangu. Tuvute kwa mendo pa ya kwa jina lake So it's the goals, tuvute pa moja, tuvute kwa nguvu, tuvute kwa upendo Pa moja kwa jina lake, amen And um, if you are near someone that you can hold their arm Maybe your child or your spouse, just feel free to extend your arm And as we say we pull, make sure you pull them like this Amen. As we do this together. Amen. To vote pamoja, to vote kwangu, na to vote kwau pendo pamoja kwa jina lake. Amen. Now I think some of us are, are not pulling someone. So if you have a brother seated next to you and you are a brother, just feel free to reach out and pull them. Amen. As we sing this song, maybe Brother John, you can come and we pull each other here. I think you have no one to pull. Amen. As we sing this song. Amen. Are you ready to sing this song? Amen. You should always keep in brotherly love. Amen. And in the joy of the Lord. To vote, pamoja, na to vote, kwa nguvu, na to vote, kwa upendo, pamoja, kwa jina laki. Pamoja, 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 mame. Pamoja, pamoja, kwa una. Pamoja, pamoja, kwa upendo. Pamoja, kwa jini. One more time, tuvute pamoja. Na tuvute pamoja. Na tuvute kwa nguvu. Tuvute kwa upendo. Pamoja kwa jina lake Pamoja, pamoja Tusimame, simame Na pamoja, pamoja Kwa nguvu Na pamoja, pamoja Kwa upendo Pamoja kwa jina lake One last time, tuvute pamoja Tuvute pamoja Na tuvute Kwa nguvu Na tuvute Kwa upendo pamoja kwa jina lake Pamoja, pamoja, pamoja Tusimame na pamoja, pamoja Kwa nguvu na pamoja, pamoja Kwa upendo pamoja kwa jina lake Amen Amen, before you sit down I'd like to sing we'll work till Jesus comes Amen, and we'll be gathered home Believing that one of these days will be gathered home. Amen. Amen. We'll work till Jesus comes. Amen. I believe. Amen. We'll work. Yes, till Jesus comes. We'll work. Till Jesus comes. We'll work. And till Jesus comes. And we'll be gathered We'll walk Yes, Lord, till Jesus comes And we'll walk Oh, till Jesus comes We'll walk Till And we'll be gathered Amen. 
Rahana tuta imba wimbo wa Musa na kondo mile le Hallelujah imena bara ile ina nuru 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 ya mile le Tutaka, tutaka, pamoja na Yesu Katika, wani yenye raha Na tuta imba, uimbo wa musa Na kondo, mile, le, hata Nita imikia, nita Nakunya kuliwa Kwenye ufame wa baba Na kumona uso Tutaka, tutaka Pamoja na Yesu Katika waniye niraha Tuta imba Uimbo wa Musa Na kondo Milele Hata milele Na pura Na pura Ayangu Moyoni Niku Nyakuliwa Na sita Ogo take the tithes and offerings we have an announcement of a wedding Amen. if we can just project it at this time we'd also like to remind the youth to get up our end year party is coming up it's supposed to be on 12th of December which is exactly 13 days from now so to kulipa Believing that the Lord will bless us and that they will be a success. So we are requesting kindly for the youth to register. At the end of the service, Enoch over here will be seated behind there with a desk to register the ones that, are, that need the manual registration. For the ones who have a smartphone or a, can be able to access the youth group, we have a form that you can use to register ourselves and the form will be closed the registration will be closed on the first week of december so we are we are requesting to, for you to register as soon as you can so the payment for the event is 480 shillings and we are also requesting for those in our midst the parents and the ones that feel they can be able to sponsor us you are welcome and we'll really appreciate you amen so i believe we have an announcement Okay, we are supposed to be there, but um, maybe I can just read it for you. So we are invited to a wedding, of, uh, and it says that it is with great pleasure that we, Elizabeth Masharia and Anthony Brown, with the blessings of our parents and pastors, request of the presence of Kitangela Church, as we exchange our marriage vows and listen to the revealed word of the hour, on Saturday, December 3rd at 10 a.m. at uh, 10 a.m., which will be it will be on Saturday the 3rd. I believe it's the next weekend, and it will be held at Capstone uh, at yes at Capstone Faith Ministry, uh, and uh, we believe the reception will be held there after the same venue. The saints here, the, the young girl is the daughter of uh, Deacon Masharia Kafugi, who is a uh, the deacon in Thicker Road, the deacon in Message of the Hour Assembly is Thicker Road, and they requested kindly to support them as we have this event. I believe we've been able to 
project it. Maybe you can just show the picture as we appreciate these saints. Okay. Uh, yeah. I think I can only see it here. So we will just send the invitation to the church group. Amen. As we prepare for that. I'd also like to request kindly, um, if you can also, the singers in our midst, the ones who have presentations. Bernice, I can see you over there. We are requesting kindly. We register for the for the watch night recording. It will not be will not come to church uh, on the thirty first, but we'll record it before. So kindly, if you have a special song, if you have a poem, if you have something that you'd like to present to the children of God on that day, kindly you can see me or brother John after the service, and we'll be able to book for you a, a recording, a day of recording, so that you can come to church and record. And uh, we can, you can be able to bless the children of God on that, on the 31st of this year. Amen. Amen. Before we, as the trustees continue to check the tithes and offerings, I'd like to sing just a little song. Amen. The Great Emancipator, song number 990. I believe in the key of F. Song number 990. The great emancipator. Amen. Song number nine ninety. Once my heart and soul were fed, by the binding chains of sin but the great emancipator he set me free to worship him and glory glory hallelujah His holy name For He's the great emancipator And that's the song of the redeemed Glory, glory, hallelujah, one more time Yes, glory, glory, hallelujah and blessed be His holy name He's the great emancipator And the, the song of the redeem And life a lost lamb I was grieved I was all so helpless and alone But the seeking shepherd found me And he led me to my father's room Precious Heavenly Father, how grateful we are, Lord. The dear Lord Jesus Christ, you've given us the much that we've given unto you. Dear Lord Jesus Christ, you've allowed us, Lord, to reach at this time, Heavenly Father, that, Lord, you're heading to the preaching of thy word. You're so grateful, Heavenly Father, to know the Lord, we can sit down and, and feed on that manner, Lord, that dear Lord Jesus Christ comes from above. We pray thee this morning, Lord, may you tune our hearts, Father, to thy word. 
You take all things that are not right, Lord. Every unbelief, everything that is not according to your word, Lord. Just take it away, Heavenly Father, that our eyes and our minds and our hearts may be set on you, Lord. We thank you for all these things, Father. Dear Lord Jesus Christ, as we get to thy word, may you quieten us down. And dear Lord God, may we receive from you and you only, Lord. Thank you for the tithes and offerings that thy children have given. Even the ones, Lord, that have not been able to give something, Lord. We know, Lord, that you look at the heart, Father, and you know that they desire to give you something, Father. You remember them, Lord, that if there ever comes another time, you might bless them, Lord, and they might be able to give unto you, Lord. We thank you for all these things. May you help the funds, Lord, to be used for the glory of your name, according to your perfect will, Father. Lord, as we go to your word, dedicate our dear pastor and also ourselves unto your caring hands now, that you might anoint us, Lord, and inspire us, Father, for the glory of your name, Lord. Dedicate ourselves now unto you for your, for your blessing, Lord, and for your touch now, Father. We pray this, believe and trust in you, Father, in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. I'd like to stand kindly as we welcome our dear pastor. I'd like to sing Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Bit higher, bro. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I was lost, but now I'm found and was blind, but now I see. It was grace that taught my heart, and it was grace, yes, that taught my heart. My fears relieved, and how precious be that grace up in the hour I first. As we lift our hands to him through many dangers, toils, and snares, and through many dangers, I'll be taking you through those dangers. Hallelujah! Oh, and I have yes, already come. That brought me safe, that's fine, and grace will leave me home. And when you've been there, and when, oh hallelujah, been there, have you booked that ticket? Ten thousand years, yes, bright shining as the sun, for we've no less day, yes, to see God's grace. God, praise God, Amen. Oh, praise God, praise. Why don't you praise Him this morning? Praise God, praise God. Yes, praise God, praise God, Amen. Just 
us praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, Amen. Don't you feel like praising Him? Isn't he wonderful? Amen. I would that we just take our seats for a moment. Amen. We are thankful to be here this morning. How many are happy to be in the presence of the Lord? Amen and amen. We thank the Lord Jesus for enabling us to be here. And there is always a reason. There is always a table spread. Do you have an expectation this morning that the Lord has a table spread where the sins of God are fed or oh, he invites his chosen ones to come and die. Amen. And I can tell you there is so much to feed on. It's only limited to yourself. Hallelujah. Amen. So we want to thank the Lord for that. Amen. As we give the past a few moments to uh, before he comes in. I want just to make a few, few announcements. Amen. As I do that, I want to read a scripture from the book of Luke. Chapter number 15 and verse 3. And then I shall read a few other verses in the same chapter of Luke, chapter 15. Amen. The Bible says, <clears throat> this was uh, Jesus. And they speak this parable unto them, saying, What man of you, having an hundred sheep, if he lose one of them, doth not leave the ninety and nine in the wilderness and go after that which is lost until he find it? And when he, he hath found it, he laid it on his shoulders, rejoicing. And when he come home, he called together his friends and neighbors, saying unto them, Rejoice with me, I have found my sheep which was lost. I say unto you that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repented more than ever, more than uh, over 99 just persons which need no re repentance. Amen. My brother, you could read the same verses. Amen. Akawambia mfano huu akisema, Ni nani kwenu mwenye kondo mia, akipotewa na mmoja wapo, asiwaacha wale tisini na kenda nyikani, aende akamtafute yule aliepotea hata akamuone. Nae akiisha kumuona humwekeza mabegani pake akifurai na afikapo nyumbani kwake waita rafiki zake na jirani zake akawaambia furaini pamoja nami kwa kuwa nimekwisha kumpata kondoo wangu aliyepotea na nawaambia na vivyo hivyo kutakuwa na furaha mbinguni kwa ajili ya mwenye dhambi mmoja atubuye kuliko kwa ajili ya wenye haki tisini na kenda ambao hawana haja ya kutubu. Amen. Do you believe that? Amen. And the prophet says that the sinner does not sin. Na nabii anasema kwamba mwenye dhambi hatendi dhambi because he is already sin. Kwa sababu yeye mwenyewe ni dhambi. You cannot add black to black. Huwezi ongeza nyeusi kwa nyeusi. It's only the white when you put a black on a white then you can see the blackness. Ni ukieka nyeusi kwa nyeupe ndio utaona nyeusi. We are so also thankful to God. Pia tumshukuru Mungu that there is the sufficient blood of Jesus Christ. Kwamba kuna damu inayotosheleza Yesu Christ. That when we plunge into that blood. Kwamba tukijitumbukiza ndani ya hiyo damu. We are whiter than the snow. Sisi ni nyeupe 
kama and their atonement is always there for the believer. Na upatanisho daima upo kwa muaminio. Does not matter how much far they go. Haijalisha ameenda umbali kiasi gani. So long as God has something in them. Mradi tu Mungu akona kitu ndani yao. He knows how he brings them back. Anajua jinsi anavyowaredesha. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And just the same chapter there, just to read a few verses down there about the prodigal son. You already know the story. But just to read a few verses down there. And and from verse number 15, the same chapter he says, and he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country and he sent him uh, into the fields to feed on the swi- uh, to feed swine. Uh, and he found fain uh, and he would fain have filled his belly uh, with the husks that uh, the swine did eat and no man gave unto him and when he came to himself he said how many hired servants of my fathers um, have bread enough uh, to spare and i perish with hunger i will rise and go to my father and i'll say unto him father i've sinned against heaven and before thee and i'm no more worthy to be called thy son make me as one of the hired servants and he arose and came to his father. But when he was yet a, way, a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. And the son said unto him, Father, I have sinned against his heaven and in thy sight, and I am no more worthy to be called thy son. But the father said to his servants, Bring forth the best rope, and put it on him, and put a ring on his hand, and shoes on his feet. Amen. My brother, just read verse 18 and 19. Mstari wa 18 na 19. Nitaondoka nitakwenda kwa baba yangu na kumwambia, baba, nimekosa juu ya mbingu na mbele yako. Sistahili kuitwa mwana wako tena. Nifanye kama mmoja wa watumishi wako. Amen. And we know uh, as you have read the story in English that the father embraced back the son. Kwamba baba alimkumbatia mwana and the good thing is that the son was always a son. Amen. When God has done something in your life, and if you waver off, God's mercy can reach out to you. And for us as believers, when we see one of us come back, we want to receive them. Amen. Our sister Esther has this to say, Esther Mbite. The day to Esther Mbite. I don't know whether she's around. She and hi, Akusema. Up. We have seen her in the church office. Whatever she is. she? Is she already? Sorry, I'm not seeing. Oh, she's there. So, Esther Mbite, you could just stand where you are there. Simama pale ulipo dada. Maweza kusimama, just stand up where you are. She has this to say. God bless you, saint. I've been lost in the world for almost four years. She had been baptized, accepted the Lord Jesus Christ. Baptized in Botella. Uh, but four years, uh, uh, she has been lost in the world. She went back to. The, she went to the world. And she says, and therefore, I found the world is not as safety for me. I decided to come back to Jesus, my Savior. And the true word of this hour. Now I confess before the Lord and my fellow believers that they may forgive me. Do you forgive her? You accept her back to the fold. Amen. May God give you grace, my sister. May God give you strength. May you have that close relationship with Christ.
Kiliochetu na maombi bwana yesu. May she never turn back. Asirudi nyuma. Oh, may she be anchored in Jesus. Atie nanga katika yesu. Give her grace Lord Jesus. Benema. Oh, anchor her so heavenly father. Write in your word. Give her that true experience of the new birth. Where she knows you. In the power of that resurrection. Oh, may she be may she be a beacon of light. Oh, the word manifested in this day. Create more desire, Lord Jesus. And the hunger in our heart, Lord Jesus. May she always come to the word and be fed by the word. We love you, Father. Give our grace, Heavenly Father. In our marriage, she's already married, Lord Jesus. You've told us in your word, if you are a believing sister or wife, you sanctify your husband with the life that you live, the word you believe. Oh Lord, may her life even draw that husband to Christ. Lord, that's a cry in prayer. We love you. We honor you. As we sit this morning, Father, to hear your word, prepare us, Lord. Let there be nothing between us and you. Bring our mind, Lord, to your word. To your presence, Heavenly Father. Forgive us of our failures. Of our shortcomings, Heavenly Father. Lord, we desire to hear from above. Oh, that's our prayer this morning. Take a hold of our pastor, Lord Jesus. Your servant, gallant servant, Lord Jesus. Oh, Heavenly Father, take him away aside, Father. It's time, Heavenly Father. Speak through him this morning again, Lord. Oh, Lord Jesus. Create a ground in our hearts to hear your word. We love you and we thank you. We honor you. We commit all things in your hands. In Jesus' name. Amen. The church say, Amen and Amen. Only believe, only believe as the pastor comes. Only believe. Jesus is here. Oh, 
In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we want to thank you for this opportunity you have given us, Lord, to come in your presence, to worship you, to fellowship around your hour. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we are so happy this morning, no, there is our Father who loves us, there is our Father who cares for us, who is our high priest. Let us start by the feeling of our infirmity. Oh, we are so glad this morning. We want just to, 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 to invite you to be with us in this meeting, Lord. As we consecrate our hearts to you. Oh, Father, if there be anything in our hearts that is not acceptable in your sight, we confess it, Lord. Forgive us and cleanse our hearts. Come down in your own way, Father. To take the power of the world. Bless our hearts, Father. Heal those who are sick among us. Lord, save those who are not saved, Lord. Who oh, fill us with the Holy Ghost, Father. Those seeking the baptism of the Holy Ghost. The real change, Father, comes by your word. In the name of Jesus Christ, in our needs, Father, oh, God, we are your people. We are your children, Lord. We love you and we bless you. Thank you for each member here, Father. Thank you for those who are not able to come. Thank you for those who are feeling well. Bless them, Father. We commit all things to you. Have thy own way. At the end of the service, Lord, all the glory will return to you. We love you and we bless you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You love the Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome each one of you to the service this morning. Amen. You are feeling good this morning. God bless you very much. We know you are a little bit late, sorry for delaying a little bit. And we believe Lord Jesus will be with us. We have started about 2022, 20 past, so we're pushing a little bit beyond our normal time. We are just trying to be. Amen. Let us quickly turn to our Bibles. Amen. Are there any visitors among us? Amen. Ah, God bless you, brother. Can I appreciate our brother? God bless you, brother. Let us give them a clap. Any other visitors among us? I also like to take this opportunity to appreciate our precious brother Paul. Eh, uh, Paul has been uh, working in Kakaki. Amekuwa kifanya kazi kule kakaki. In Nakuru and he was his teacher. He was a teacher there and he was very useful to us when we have been having ministers meeting there. Alikuwa na tusaidia sana tukiwa na mkitano ya ujumu. He has been going to Kalama. Kalama church to help the, the, the Kalama church, the brother who used to be, the church used to be with a brother called Maweo. The old time as who used to be in Arabi, no Maweo. Brother Maweo. Brother Maweo. So brother Paul has been helping there. God bless you Father Paul, we love you. God bless you very much. God bless you very much. Amen. Uh, we we'll also like to take this opportunity to appreciate the believers who have been helping us a lot. When you see this work going outside here, <laughs> Amen. Maybe they were not one of the brothers, but you guys don't, don't, don't know, he wouldn't like me to mention his name. But brother, we really appreciate what <laughs> you are going through. God bless you very much. Bless you very much. Bless you very much. Bless you very and uh, all others who have been giving their life to be there, their, their resources Na to help us here. Our brother here who has been giving his services and many others. Na wengine wengine. Our brother Dr. Haman, 
who has also used a lot of funds on this project. And even his brother Kanyugi, who was not with us, also he did a lot. And their brothers have been, have been buying sand and doing all this work. We really want to appreciate you, uh, brethren. God bless you very, very much for what you are doing. And we give fanya. God all the glory. Thank you so much. Asanteni sana. If it wasn't for that, we would not be moving. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Because uh, uh, the, our resources are not very... Sabu. Atuko, uh, atuko wasito sana. <laughs> <laughs> but without God, all things are possible. <laughs> when you see all this work that has been done, <laughs> and you look around, around here, here you know it's a miracle. <laughs> it is, brother. Amen. We give God all the glory. Nampa mungu and whatever you do for God, the problem is you will never outgive God. Nabi anasema kwamba hauwezi ukapeana zaidi kuliko mungu. You will not see the blessings now. Hata usipoona baraka hivi sasa. Those blessings will visit your children and your children's children. Hizo baraka zitatembelea watoto wako na wana watoto wako. It is a fact. It is a truth. Uwa ni ukweli. So whatever you do for God, God never forget. God never forget. Mungu hasa hau kamwe. Amen. Amina. Let us go to the book of Revel. Today I have got uh, a very important subject which I deem it important Leo, which we didn't go sana. into uh, which, we didn't, which we didn't manage to reach last Sunday but we lay the background just, so today we are talking on the kingdom uh, which we wanted to which we introduced last Sunday and the Lord giving us grace by the, the, the truth revelation of the mystery of Godhead now we can be able to understand the message of the future home. So we will talk more on, the, on redemption. Uh, tying it up with the mystery of the Godhead. So we will go quickly to the book of Revelation. Chapter 21. Sura and also the book of uh, Second Peter. Which we read the Sunday. Please allow me only to read in one language to save time. Then I will just ask my brother to read one or two quotes. Two verses, sorry, sorry, sorry. In, in, in Kiswahili. Amen. Quickly, Second uh, Peter chapter 3 and also uh, Revelation 21. Maybe Petro we can start with Second Peter. Amen. 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 Verse 3, knowing this first, that, as 2 Peter chapter 3, we, we can write, start Petro from Pili, tatu, mustari wa tatu. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last day scovers, walking after their own last, and saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. For this they willingly are ignorant of that. By the word of God, the heavens were of old. And the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished. That was the, 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 the world before the flood. The world before the, 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 no, the gold and the Libyan and the Libyan, and the Libyan world. But the heavens and the earth, which are, that is now from the time of Noah, which is up to now, after the flood. Now the heavens and the earth which are now, by the same word are kept in store, reserved unto, uh, unto fire against the day of judgment and petition of ungodly men. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day the Lord is a, is a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering towards us that not willing that any should perish, but all should come to repentance. But the Lord, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fire and the heat, and the earth also, and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought we to be in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and the hasting unto the coming of the day of, of, of God, where in the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fire and heat. Nevertheless, we are going to promise 
Look for new heavens and for new earth where dwells righteousness. Amen. Brother, you can read from verse 10. Suma kwanza mstari wa 10. Lakini siku ya Bwana itakuja kama mwivi. Katika siku hiyo mbingu usitatoweka kwa mshindo mkuu na viumbe vya asili vitaunguzwa na kufumuliwa na nchi na kazi zilizomo ndani yake zitateketea. Basi kwa kuwa vitu hivi vyote vitafumuliwa hivyo imewapasa ninyi kuwa watu wa tabia gani katika mwenendo mtakatifu na utaua. Mkitazamia hata ije siku ile ya Mungu na kuimiza ambayo katika hiyo mbingu zitafumuliwa zikiungua na viumbe vya asili vitateketea na kuyeyuka lakini kama ilivyo ahadi yake mnatazamia mbingu mpya na nchi mpya ambayo haki yakaa ndani yake hey, chapter 21 of revelation verse 1 and i saw a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away and there was no more sea and I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of the heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with man, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them, and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor cry, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said to me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. Amen. Uh, I think you, you read verse, verse 2. What was two? Mr. Rokwaza na wapili. Kisha nikaona mbingu mpia na nchi mpia. Kwa maana mbingu za kwanza na nchi ya kwanza zimekwisha kupita wala hapana bahari tena. Nami nikauona mji ule mtakatifu Yerusalemu mpya ukishuka kutoka mbinguni kwa Mungu. Umewekwa tayari kama bibi harusi aliyekwisha kupamba kupambwa kwa mumewe. Nikasikia sauti kubwa kutoka katika kile kiti cha enzi ikisema Tazama maskani ya Mungu ni pamoja na wanadamu. Naye atafanya maskani yake pamoja nao, nao watakuwa watu wake. Naye Mungu mwenyewe atakuwa pamoja nao. Amen. We shall pray again. Tuombe tena. Our heavenly Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you for the word, Lord. Anybody can open this Bible. But it takes the Holy Spirit, Lord, to come down and take the bread of life. Give it life, Father. Quicken it, Lord. That it may quicken our hearts. That, Father, it may have an effect in our lives, Father. We dedicate our lives to you now. For the service of the Lord. And for the glory of your name. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. We may be seated. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay. Uh, they, want, they want to adjust that. So, as I said, we want to speak on the on the kingdom. We started last Sunday. And uh, you know the kingdom is here. The kingdom is being established in our hearts. And we are also going into the kingdom. And uh, we would like to look at that. The Lord giving us grace. And tie it up. With the plan of redemption. And now we see here uh, from uh, the, the, the plan of redemption uh, 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 if we look at the book of Peter where we read where we read second Peter uh, chapter 3 so you see the Bible is saying uh, there was the world that was there before the flood and the Libyan world. And uh, then when the flood came, uh, the waters covered the earth. Maji yakafunika dunia. And uh, the prophet says that was uh, the first 
that was the starting of redemption of the earth because we know when, the, when, when Adam fell Adam alipanguka, the devil the devil Shetani, came and possessed this earth he was thrown down from heaven because Adam lost that domain that, that dominion Komana, yes, Adam or the authority God has given him yale ambao Mungu to be a God of the earth awe Mungu wa dunia. God was to be the God of heaven Na Mungu awe Mungu so wa it went back, the, earth, the world went back to Satan Ulimwengu ukarudi kwa shetani. And Satan has been ruling it since that time. Na shetani amekuwa akiumiliki tangu wakati huo. All the things around the politics and the diseases and the, 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 the jungle and the, all these things is politics is all that. Yote yote ni ya shetani. We are going to another kingdom. Tunaenda katika ufalme mwingine ambao ni tofauti kabisa. And that kingdom na huo ufalme has started being established. Umeanza kuimarishwa in our hearts. Katika mioyo yetu. And we want to look at the earth the redemption of the earth for us to come and dwell here ili turudi kuishi hapa and type it for a type it uh, and type it with the redemption of you as a human being nikifananisha na ukombozi wako wewe kama mwanadamu and tie it up na kuunganisha with the mystery that god has done or started in our age na siri ambayo mungu ameanzisha katika kizazi chetu so you chetu. see the world kwa hivyo na ulimwengu or the earth ama dunia that is the heaven and the earth mbingu na nchi uh, the heaven means mbingu ya maanisha atmosphere yale mazingira because in the atmosphere kwa maana kwenye mazingira the Bible says we are not fighting against powers and principalities biblia inasema we are not fighting against flesh and blood atupigani na nyama na but kamu, against power bali nguvu and the demons na mapepo and the principalities of the air mamlaka kule uh, in the air the air is full of demons hapa kwenye anga kumejaa mapepo that's why you find will come from the sky because uh, and, and kill people kunatoka mwanga ama ama ngurumo inatoka kule juu bingu na radi 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 inatoka juu na kuua watu that is the devil possessing huyo ni shetani the devil is in the air you can see typhoons you can see ako angani unaweza kuona typhoon hurricane 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 all these things and floods na hizo matunda oh is the devil hiyo yote ni shetani bwana asifiwe sana amen god i mean the devil pervades god's creation shetani anapotosha uumbaji wa mungu and he uses it for his but we thank God we are going to another kingdom that's what the Bible says and the meek shall inherit the earth because this earth is where we will dwell eternal and so we see here the world that was there first ulimwengu uliokuepo kwanza which was there before 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 the flood uliokuepo kabla ya zile garika the bible puts it like this biblia inasema hivi eh but five for this they willing are ignorant when they say where 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 where, where is the promise of his coming wakisema ati ahadi ya kuja kwake iko wapi for this they are ignorant of that by the word of god the heavens were of old maana ufumba macho yao wasione neno hili ya kuwa zilikuwa zilikuwa kwa mbingu tangu zamani and the earth standing out of the water na nchi pia imefanyishwa kutoka katika maji and in the water na ndani ya maji whereby ambapo the world that then was kwa hiyo dunia ile ya wakati ule being of a flood flowed with water iligarikishwa na maji perish ikaangamia that was during the it was perish in the time of the flood hiyo ilikuwa ni ule wakati wa garika and that is a type of the baptism na hiyo ni mfano wa ubatizo or justification au kuhesabiwa haki the baptism in water ubatizo ndani ya maji for the world kwa maana dunia was baptized by water ilibatizwa na maji in the time of noah katika zile nyakati za nuhu then when jesus died kisha yesu alipokufa he shed his precious blood akamwaga damu yake ya thamani and he poured all that adam lost na akanunua yote ambayo Adam alikuwa amepoteza hadi wewe hata kama hujadhirishwa bado you, 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 you are there in the earth lakini ulikuwa pale duniani the body was there in the earth mwili ulikuwa duniani uh, your, your, your jam of life was in God. Chembe chembe yako ya uhai ilikuwa bado iko ndani ya Mungu. Ama ulikuwa bado wewe ni sifa ya Mungu. But now when you are manifested. Lakini sasa ulipodhihirishwa. Dunia hii is already justified. Tayari imehesabiwa haki. Is already sanctified. Tayari imetakaswa. By the blood of Jesus Christ. Kwa damu ya Yesu Kristo. That's if you die. Ndio kwa maana ukifa. You are part of the earth. Wewe ni sehemu ya dunia. The flesh is the earth. Huyu 
mwili it will go in the ground utaenda mchangani and your soul nafsi yako will unite with your your fiofen utaungana na mwili wako wa neno and one day na siku moja when the trumpet of the lord shall sound na gumu ya mungu ikipigwa you come out utatoka mavumbini tena a changed person mtu uliyebadilika 16 elements madini 16 but you are now you be changed lakini sasa utakumebadilishwa the hadith is already baptized kwamba dunia tayari imebatizwa the hadith is already sanctified ha, d- tayari dunia imetakaswa which is the this body of Amba, part of the earth n- mwili huu ni sehemu ya dunia si mwili tu ni chakula nimekula mm. si ni mchanga tu ya, ya ukambani mm. <laughs> Ona bigi ndani mechenge said the cells zile chembe chembe all is part of the earth hii yote ni sehemu ya dunia you fall down here kianguka chini hapa after a few years baada ya miaka michache had one wala ni mifupa but after a while the people also decide na baada ya muda hata mifupa haitakuwa and it will become part of the earth and of dust you came to ulitoka mavumbini na utarudi mavumbini but one day lakini sikuona haleluya we will be called again tutaitwa tena and we will come out of na tutatoka mavumbini na glorified body tukiwa na mwili uliotukuka do you know kuungana with our fiofa na kiofanyia yetu if you are alive kama bado uko hai you will be changed wewe utabadilishwa haleluya haleluya so this earth forever ardhi hii will also be changed pia itabadilishwa it has been baptized Ka- imebatizwa tayari in water ndani ya maji in the katika wakati wa nuhu Jesus shed his blood Yesu akamwaga damu yake it was sanctified ikatakaswa but now lakini sasa it is waiting for it is baptism of the holy ghost inasubiri ubatizo wake wa roho mtakatifu which the bible says in verse 7 ambapo biblia inasema kwenye mstari wa 7 but the heaven that as we are now lakini mbingu za sasa na nchi mbingu za sasa na nchi which we know it has already been baptized ambapo tunajua tayari imebatizwa na kutakaswa but the heavens and earth which are now lakini mbingu za sasa na by the same word kwa neno lile lile are kept in soa zimewekwa akipa reserved and to fire kwa ajili ya moto again as a day of judgment zikilinda hata siku ya hukumu and a partition of the ungodly men na kuangamia kwao wanadamu hallelujah kwa hivyo ulimwengu huu sasa will be clear pia utatakaswa we we'll have the baptism of fire utapata ubatizo wa moto kutakasa to sanctify to 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 burn all the jumps all the politics all the diseases kuchoma ni vyote vya siasa magonjwa na mambo hayo yote and everything else na kila kitu then that will be done at the end of the millennium hiyo itafanyika katika ile mwisho wa milki ya miaka 1000 then eternity will set ndipo umilele utaingia and there will be a new earth ambapo biblia inasema kutakuwa na dunia mpya na mbingu mpya now the new earth and new heaven dunia mpya na mbingu mpya ni ulimwengu ule ule ambao tunaishi saa hii lakini utabadilishwa by the fire of god na moto wa Mungu haleluya haleluya then the king and the queen kisha mfalme ma, na malkia we will come down from glory watashuka kwenye utukufu we will inherit the earth na watamiliki dunia haleluya this is our home <laughs> hapa ni makao yetu haleluya and if you live you don't own an inch <laughs> <laughs> hata kama hauna hata nchi moja. Unajua wa Kenya wanaamini kwamba lazima uwe na kitu. <laughs> Amen. Ni nini huna kitu? Hata kama huna chochote. You possess everything. Wewe unamiliki kila kitu. Haleluya. Amen. Abraham was looking for that city. <laughs> yule yule Ibrahim alikuwa akitafuta ki, ki ule mji ambao mtendo wake ni Na yeye anamiliki mambo yote. And yet he was moving around. Na alikuwa akitembea akiutafuta huo mji. Oh hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh those promises are true brother. Hizo ahadi ni za kweli ndugu. Amen. Amen. So now this mystery. Kwa hivyo siri hii eh, 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 after 2000 years. Baada ya miaka 2000 the world was baptized with water. Ulimwengu ukabatizwa na maji. After the second 2000 years. Na baada ya miaka 2000 ya pili. It was sanctified. Ulimwengu ukatakaswa. By the blood of Jesus. Na damu ya Yesu. Now we are finishing 2000 years. Sasa tunamaliza miaka 2000 tena. Just, that is actually. Unyakuzi umeanza. Hallelujah. The kingdom ule ufalme the, 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 the spiritual kingdom ufalme wa kiroho has come down umeshuka chini haleluya waiting ukisubiri for us to be changed 
sisi tubadilishwe to go to the physical kingdom tuende katika ufalme halisi wenyewe but this kingdom of god ule ufalme wa Mungu being established in our hearts unaimarishwa katika mioyo yetu hallelujah hallelujah so we want to look at this great mystery tunataka kuangalia katika hii siri kuu god giving us grace Mungu akitupa neema The, the, the stages that the world will go through zile hatua ambazo ulimwengu utapitia and we see that in, in, in summary eh, kwa muhtasari so that when we read the quote we don't need to go ili tukisoma nukuu eh because we don't want to go into all the the the, 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 the doctrines because We want us to preach more today. Hatutaki kuingia kwenye mafundisho sana kwa maana tunataka kuhubiri zaidi leo. But from the time of the beginning, kwamba eh, tangu wakati wa mwanzo, or from the time of the fall, ama kuanzia wakati wa kuanguka in Eden, kule Eden. After 2000 years, baada ya miaka 2000, came the flood. Kukatokea agarika and then the world was baptized in water ndipo ulimwengu ukabatizwa katika maji in the time of noah katika siku za nuhu and the world that is now in between here hapa katikati after 2000 years again baada ya miaka 2000 tena came jesus christ kukaja yesu kristo and the world was baptized with it was sanctified ulimwengu ukatakaswa uh, here it was justified hapa wakati wa garika uliyesabiwa haki and here it is sanctified na hapa unatakaswa sanctified by the blood of Jesus Christ kwa damu ya Yesu Kristo and then after this baada ya hapo after that 2000 years kukaja miaka 2000 nyingine tunasubiri miaka 2000 nyingine we are now waiting for the rapture tunasubiri kunyakuliwa for the rapture kunyakuliwa then now ndipo sasa you can see here unaweza kuona hapa the 2000 years kuna miaka 2000 the flood came garika ikatokea 2000 years miaka 2000 there was sanctification kukaja utakaso after 2000 years baada ya miaka 2000 there will be a rapture kutakuwa na kunyakuliwa then after the rapture na baada ya kunyakuliwa there will come the tribulation period kutakuja na kipindi cha dhiki kuu we will know three and a half years ambao tunajua ni miaka mitatu nusu and there we will go in in, in the glory hapo tutaenda then there will be the tribulation period kutakuwa na kipindi cha then after that baada hapo They will come the 1000 years. Kutakuja miaka 1000. Which will be the millennium. Ambao ni milki ya miaka 1000. And the millennium, lakini hiyo millennium is not the new earth. Sio dunia mpya. Is not eternity. Na sio milele. Because the Bible says. Bible inasema. In the millennium, kwenye millennium, we shall there shall be there shall build houses. Watajenga nyumba. <laughs> Let us read Isaiah 67. Watu tusome Isaiah 60 Uh, Isaiah 65 this talks of the millennium but also a bit of it is also will be there in the eternity but let us look at it generally it Wacha, is talking about the millennium tuangalie na zungumzia kuhusu milki ya miaka 1000 eh millennium that is I, 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 Isaiah 65 Isaiah 65 Isaiah 65 uh, Sorry, verse 17. Let us go to verse 17. Hey, 6:5, sorry, sorry. 6:5 verse 17. I say, For behold, I great For behold, I great new heaven and new earth. That is eternity. Wewe umelele. And the former former shall not be remembered nor come into mind. That is the, the new heaven and the new earth. That is eternity. But from verse 18 is the millennium conditions. But be ye glad and rejoice for forever if that which I create for behold I create Jerusalem a rejoicing. And her people a joy. And I will rejoice in Jerusalem and join my people and the voice of weeping shall be no more heard in her nor the voice of crying. There shall be no more thens an infant of days nor an old man that has not filled his days for the child shall die an hundred years old but the sinner being a hundred years uh, old shall be accursed and they shall build houses 
So you see in the millennium they'll be building a house. Kwa hivyo katika miliki ya miaka elfu watajenga nyumba. But in a new earth and Lakini katika mbingu mpya na nchi mpya Jesus said I have gone to prepare a place for you. Yesu alisema nime naenda kuandalia makao. Anajenga nyumba zetu. The new the holy city. Ule mji mji mtakatifu. Lakini katika miliki ya miaka elfu Watajenga nyumba. And inhabit them. And they shall plant vineyards and eat the fruit them of them. They shall not build and another inhabit they shall not plant and another eat for as the days of a tree are the days of my people and mine elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands they shall not labor in vain nor bring forth the, for trouble for they are the seed of the blessed of the lord and the offspring with them and it shall come to pass na itakuwa that ya kwamba before they go kabla hawajaomba i will answer nitajibu and when they are yet speaking na wakiwa katika kunena i will hear nitasikia the wolf mbwa mwitu and the lamb na mwana kondoo shall be together watalisha pamoja and the lion na simba shall eat straw atakula majani like the bullock kama ngombe and the dog shall be the serpent na magumbi yatakuwa chakula cha nyoka they shall not hurt hawata dhuru in my holy mountain kuharibu katika mlima wangu mtakatifu wote asema bwana Haleluya. Haleluya. You the script you can you have a compound meaning. Wajua maandiko yanaweza kuwa na maana mara. There are things here. Kuna mambo mengine hapa. Also are applicable to the new to the, to the new earth and the new heaven. Ambao pia yanaingia katika nchi yetu. But most of them are also applicable in the millennium. Na mengine mengi hapo ni katika miliki ya miaka. They can build houses. Watajenga nyumba. And nobody will inhabit them. Na wataishi hapo ndani. What person asked the problem my question? Mtu mmoja aliuliza ndugu swali. In the millennium kule katika miliki ya miaka ya Are we going to have children? Je, tutaza. I am not very sure. <laughs> Nabi akasema sina hakika. <laughs> so the prophet was not sure so we don't go deep into it. Hakuwa na hakika. We don't know how it will be. Hatujui itakuwaje. Sure you are there. <laughs> Lakini hakikisha ukwe pale. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because kwa sababu it will be a place. Itakuwa ni mahali. Wait, it's, it's, it's like the Sabbath. It's like the honeymoon. Eh ni kama fungate eh uh, fungate ni siku saba baada ya harusi okay 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 <laughs> well, that's amen now i wanted to push it this way a little bit so if you don't mind i want to to reduce this so that i i have enough space there because we want to type it we are, our, our thought is the redemption wazo letu ni ukombozi but now we want to use this lakini tunataka kutumia hii so i don't want to take a lot of time on it sitaki nichukue muda mwingi sana hapo so we see here those years tunaona hapa miaka 2000 there is eden kuna edeni and then 2000 years kisha miaka 2000 because not exact we are talking about approximate tuna tuna there is a flood kuna garika justification kuhesabiwa haki The world was justified. Ulimwengu ulihesabiwa haki. Another thousand years. Na miaka 2000 nyingine there was now the it will be a rapture. Kutakuwa na unyakuzi. Then after that, baada ya hapo, there will be the tribulation period. Kutakuwa na kipindi, kipindi cha dhiki kuu miaka mitatu nusu. Then here, kisha hapa, there will be the millennium. Kutakuwa na milki ya miaka 1000. Then here kisha hapa kwingine kutakuwa na umilele and before it turned here na kabla ya umilele hapa there is what is now we call now the cleansing of the the, the white throne judgment and the cleansing of the of the of the of the wall which are kuna kule kutakaswa kiti cha enzi cha upe the white throne judgment and the the, the 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 cleansing of this earth na kutakaswa kwa dunia hii before it turned it starts kabla ya umilele kuanza it will be done at the end itafanyika mwishoni they call the, the, the war of gog and mag ile ambayo inaitwa ni vita vya gog na mag mago gog gog na mago kwa sababu mago i'm spelling me wrong and here that will be the war of of, of, of gog and mago hiyo itakuwa ni vita vya gog na mago and uh, we know that the war this is the, the Armageddon war is during the tribulation period so, vita vya Armageddon vitakuwa katika wakati wa dhiki kuu to say the stage for the millennium ili weke hali ikue swali kwa miaka ya 1000 ambayo ni miaka 
So that the war of Armageddon is here. Vita vya Armageddon ni hapa. Mkiona Russia doing what they are doing. Mkiona Urusi wakifanya kile wanafanya. Vita vya Armageddon is here. That is true. What is we don't know what is the world is coming to an end. Ulimwengu unafika Ukiona maadili ya dunia. Give America less than 50 years. Wapatie Marekani miaka 50. There will be more gays and lesbians than there will be people who are live who are properly married. Kutakuwa na mashoga na malawiti wengi zaidi kuliko watu wa mambo leo. Many places and in schools they are teaching in some places. Shuleni kwingine wanafundisha. Because they have already been transgender who have been changed. Kuna watoto ambao wamebadilisha hali yao. They are being given hormones and the boys have become looking girls and girls and boys. Wanafika wasichana wasichana. The world is coming to an end. Ulimwengu unafika mwisho. We can't continue like that. Hatuwezi kuendelea hivyo. But we thank God. Lakini tuamshukuru Mungu. We know where we are. Tunajua pale tulipo. Israel is in a homeland. Israel iko nyumbani kwao. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We don't know what may happen. Hatujui nini kitatendeka. Hatu hataki kukisia. Now when you see all these things happening. Lakini tukiona mambo haya yatatendeka. Benjamin Netanyahu is back. You don't know what wana Netanyahu amerudi kwa kule Israeli lakini hataki ku bali tusubiri tu kuja kwa Bwana haleluya amen so we see here now kwa hivyo tunaona hapa eh uh, the first 2000 years miaka ya kwanza nimeniruka this is the this is the flood sorry Apo this, is, this is justification kwa sababu haki hapo kwa garika kwa sababu haki this is the blood of jesus this is the, this is the, 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 the jesus died on the cross yesu alipokufa msalabani sorry i i mixed up samani nilichanganya kidogo hapo the sanctification sorry eh kutakaswa i don't you don't you don't explain it i'm just <laughs> i was uh, you know i didn't do i was not very good in in my handwriting up to now mimi muandiko wangu haukuwa mzuri hadi sasa ndio naandika kama daktari and i just never changed so so now we see here tunaona hapa eh uh, the first 2000 years miaka ya kwanza ya 2000 eh uh, they are uh, they were justified walihesabiwa haki the flood the water came maji kulikuwa na garika the time of no and the world was sanctified ulimwengu ukatakasa jesus shed his blood And the world was sanctified. Yesu alimwaga damu ulimwengu katakaso. And now sasa we are waiting tunasubiri for this world ulimwengu before it is it is it is cleansed here baptism of fire here. Kabla ya kutakaso ubatizo wa moto this is the baptism of fire of the world. Hapa ni ubatizo wa moto wa dunia. Just before eternity. Kabla ya umilele. Baptism by fire. Ubatizo kwa nji, kwa so, moto. Baptism by fire. Ubatizo na moto. It is here uh, before. Baptism by fire. Ubatizo na moto. Which is the type of the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Ambao ni mfano wa ubatizo wa Roho Mtakatifu. It is here before eternity. Iko hapa kabla ya umilele. And sanctification is here. Na utaka, na kutakasa iko so hapa. So you see here now. Kwa hivyo unaona hapa. You can see all the way. Waweza kuona umbali huu wote. Before eternity sets in. Kabla ya umilele kuingia. There are seven uh, There are seven seven days. Kuna siku saba. Which is the type of 7000 years. Huu ni mfano wa miaka 1000. One year with the Lord is one year with the Lord is one day, one day with the Lord is one year. Siku moja kwa Bwana ni kama miaka 1000. Miaka 1000. So we see here seven seven after 7000 years. Unaona baada ya miaka 1000, eh uh, we have the baptism of fire of the world. Tuna ubatizo so wa moto. So we enter into eternity. Hapo tunaingia katika umilele. And eternity na umilele is not counted with days. Hauhesabiki na masiku. The two days. Let's call it this is two days. Wacha tuseme hizi ni siku mbili. These are two days. Hizi siku mbili. These are two days. Hizi siku mbili. And this is one day. Na hii ni siku moja. Because there are seven days in a week. Kwa maana kuna siku saba katika Juma. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Jumatatu, Jumanne, Friday, Saturday, Jumatano, Sa- Alhamisi, uh, Of Juma. course it is supposed to start on uh, Sunday. Sunday. Sunday is the first day of Ina, the week. Inaanza inaanza in hiyo so, huanza Jumapili. There is Sunday and Monday. Jumapili, Jumatatu. Uh, Tuesday and Wednesday. Jumanne, Jumatano. Thursday and Friday. Alhamisi, Juma. Then there is the Sabbath. Kisha kuna Sabato. <laughs> The seventh day siku ya saba. The millennium is rest. <laughs> Milki ya miaka 1000 ni kupumzika. Is that a man? Millennium is not eternity. 
Kwa ajili ya mumewe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we see here now. Tunaona sasa this mystery here. Hii siri hapa is the mystery of redemption. Ni siri ya ukombozi. Hallelujah. There are seven days. Kuna siku saba. And then the seven days are yes. we can say seven weeks. Tunaweza kusema ni majuma majuma saba. Hallelujah. You hit the eighth. Unagonga ya nane. And the eighth. Na ya nane is not counted with it, with it, with, it, with it time. Hayasabiwi na wakati. It is a holy convocation. Hiyo ni kusanyiko takatifu. It's a holy convocation. Hilo ni kusanyiko takatifu. We can go in the book of Leviticus. We, we see that there were seven feasts. Tuone kulikuwa na siku kuu mara saba. And the feast of the Kulikuwa na siku kuu ya Pasaka. Which was the first day. Kwa ilikuwa siku ya kwanza. The feast of the sheep waving. Kwa na siku kuu ya kutikizwa kwa mganda. Which was the following day Saturday. Ambayo ilikuwa Jumamosi. The, no sorry, the feast of the living bread. A, a siku kuu ya mkato sio tu cha Saturday. Ambayo ilikuwa Jumamosi. Then there was Sunday. Kwa na Jumapili. The resurrection day. Siku ya ufufu Oh, the feast of the sheep waving. Siku kuu ya kutikishwa kwa mganda. When the priest was waving the sheep. Kuhana alipokuwa akitikisha mganda, thanking God for the harvest. Akishukuru Mungu kwa mavuno. There was another sheep also. Kulikuwa na uh, uh, the first one that they had mature. Kulikuwa na malimbuko ya kwanza. Jesus Christ. Yesu Kristo. Rose from the dead. Alifuka toka kwa wafu. When did he rise from the dead? Alifuka lini kutoka kwa wafu? More than any day. Sio siku nyingine yote. On Sunday. Bali Jumapili. In other words, kwa maana mengine come from the, the, the first day of the week Sunday. Kwanza ya Juma Sunday. Oh, the way to Saturday. Hadi Juma Mosi. Then on Sunday. Kisha Jumapili. That means you have finished seven days. Yamaanisha umemaliza siku saba. Seven weeks. Majuma saba. Seven thousand years. Miaka 7000. You go into eternity. Unaingia ndani ya umilele. Also the rising of the Christ from the dead. Kwa hivyo kufufuka kwa Kristo ilikuwa ishara. I am the resurrection. Kwamba mimi ndimi ufufuo. I am the life. Mimi ndimi uhai. You live on me. Yeyote anayamini mimi hatakufa. But shall have eternal life. Lakini atakuwa na uzima wa milele. Jesus again to give us eternal life. Yesu alifuka tena ili atupatie uzima wa milele. Because I live. Kwa vile mimi niko hai. Nanyi mtaishi pia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that's why we also find out. Ndio maana tunatambua pia the first feast. Eh siku kuu ya kwanza. Was the feast of Passover. Ilikuwa ni siku kuu ya Pasaka. Which was Saturday. Ambayo ilikuwa ni Jumamosi. Can look at them quickly in the book of Leviticus. Tuangalie haraka haraka kitabu cha mambo ya Walawi. Eh uh, chapter uh, chapter 26. 26. Eh na 11. Gotcha. 11 and how to dance. Leviticus. Leviticus. Mambo ya Walawi. <laughs> Leviticus. Chapter 20 23. 23. Mambo ya Walawi 23. Hallelujah. We go quickly. We don't want to go into this. We have to do them another day. Uh, so we see here quickly. Verse 4 Mustar wa 4 is is a feast of the uh, uh, ba, 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 we start from verse verse, verse 5. On the 14th day is the feast of the Passover. Mwezi wa kwanza siku ya 10. Lost Passover. Nne ni mwezi wa wakati wa jioni ni Pasaka ya kwanza. And Jesus also died on the same day of the Passover. Yesu pia kafa siku hiyo ya Pasaka. For he was the real Passover. Kwa maana yeye ndiye aliyekuwa Pasaka halisi. The Lamb of God. Mwana kondoo wa Mungu. Is that a man? Yeye ni Amina. Verse 6. Then the following day. Na siku ya 10. On the 15th day. Siku ya 15 That is on the 14th day as 5 is the Passover. Siku ya 14 ilikuwa Pasaka. Siku ya 15 is the unleavened bread. Ni siku kuu ya mkate usiotiwa chachu. Hallelujah. Showing that Jesus Christ will die. Kiongozi kwamba Yesu Kristo alikufa. There is no living in him. Hamna chachu ndani yake. He was the pure word of God. Yeye alikuwa neno kamili safi la Mungu. Hallelujah. Amen. On Sunday, Ejma pili was the feast of the Chief Wewe ilikuwa ni kusanyiko ya kutikishwa kwa mganda. Pastor, speak of the king of Israel and say unto them, when ye come unto the land which I give unto you and shall reap the harvest thereof, then ye shall bring a sheaf. 
of the first fruits of your harvest unto the priest. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. And he shall wave the sheaf before the Lord to be accepted unto you. What was he showing? That on Sunday, pili, there will be a sheep wearing of the first fruits Malimbuko ya kwanza, that mature yaliokoma. and the one who matured first na yule aliyekomaa kwanza Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, yet claimed I am the resurrection. Alikuwa amedai kwamba mimi ndimi mvufuo. Mimi ndimi uhai. People had died. They didn't have hope. Watu walikuwa wamekufa na wako na matumaini. I am the lie. Akasema mimi ndimi uhai. Nami ndimi ufufuo. He rose again. Akafuka tena. A type of eternal life. Mfano wa umilele. With eternal life. Akiwa na uzima wa milele. If you believe in him. Ukimwamini yeye. You are eternal. Wewe ni wa milele. It happened on Sunday. Ilitendeka Jumapili. Is that amen? Because we know the Passover was Friday. Ilikuwa Ijuma. How many see that amen? And on Saturday, na Jumamosi, Jesus was in the grave. Yesu alikuwa kaburini. The feast of the, the, the chief webi. Yes, on Sunday, Kuma when the priest was saying, I will thank you, Jehovah. Wakati kuhana alikuwa kisema, tukushukuri, Jehovah. For the harvest. Kwa mavuno. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For giving us good rain. Kwa kutupa mvua mzuri. And we have got a good harvest. Na tumevuna vyema. These are the first fruits. Haya ndio malimbuko ya kwanza. We thank you, Jehovah. Tukushukuri, Jehovah. The God was raising Mungu alikuwa akimfufua Yesu. Akimtikisa duniani. And whoever believes in him. Kwa wote walimwamini yeye. He was Alikuwa amekoma the, the resurrection and the life ufufuo na uhai so it was done on sunday kwa hivyo ilitendeka jumapili hallelujah hallelujah from sunday kutoka jumapili which was the passover ambayo ilikuwa pasaka you are to count 50 days ilibidi uhesabu siku 50 sorry not the passover sorry from sunday toka jumapili which was the feast of the sheep waving ambayo ilikuwa ni siku ya kutikishwa kwa mganda you are to count 50 days ulikuwa uhesabu siku 50 and as god was 15 that was it said and he shall count unto you from the morrow after the sabbath that is from sunday nanyi mtajihesabia tangu siku ya pili baada ya sabato ambayo ni jumapili siku ifuatayo siku ifuatayo jumapili baada ya oh ndio siku ya pili okay <laughs> not after today it's be a pin yeah. and he shall count unto you from the morrow after the supper nanyi mtejihesabia tangu siku ya pili baada ya sabato from the day that you brought a sheep of the well wavering we were offering tangu siku hiyo mlio you shall count seven sabbaths muta zita zitatimia sabato saba hallelujah amen after seven sabbaths baada ya sabato saba after 50 days baada ya siku 50 or after 49 days ama baada ya siku 49 then on the 50th day kisha katika ile siku ya 50 hallelujah hallelujah shall be the feast of pentecost itakuwa ni siku kuu ya pendekote which is god the feast of the waving of the loaves ambayo inaitwa ni kule siku kuu ya kutikishwa kwa as we read again and he shall count unto you From the more of the sabbath from the day of the you brought the sheep of the of wave overing seven sabbath shall be complete even unto the morrow after the seven sabbath shall ye number 50 days and ye shall offer a new meat overing unto the lord ye shall bring unto ye shall bring out of your habitation two wave loaves mtatoa katika makao yenu mikate miwili ya kutikiswa of two tenth deals they shall be of fine flour then shall be with the leaven they shall be packed with the leaven now you see the sheep of the wavelos ona kutikiswa kwa mikate it was called the feast of pentecost ndio tunaita siku kuu ya pentecost when was it done ilifanyika lini oh you have to count seven sabbath ilibidi uhesabu sabato saba and on the more up saba na baada ya sabato which will be sunday ambayo itakuwa jumapili hallelujah What was it? Ilikuwa nini? The Holy Ghost came. <laughs> Roho mtakatifu akaja. Are you following? It was done on Sabbath. Ilitendeka katika Sabato. Hallelujah. Let us read verse 16 again. And the morrow after the seventh Sabbath, hata siku ya pili ya hiyo Sabato ya Shall ye number 50 days? Mtahesabu siku ya 50. And a new meat offering on the Lord. Mtasongezea kwa na sadaka ya application to wavelos. Mtatoa katika makao yenu mikate miwili ya kutikiswa. Hallelujah. So we see now here. Tunaona hapa. After 
seven sabbaths. Baada ya sabato saba. After seven weeks. Baada ya majuma saba. Hallelujah. They were to count seven weeks. Walihesabu majuma saba. Seven weeks. Majuma saba. And after seven weeks. Na baada ya majuma saba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. On Sunday Jumapili. You see you have gone back to the first day again. Unaona umeenda ukarudi katika ile siku ya kwanza so tena. Have you reached? Umefika wapi? You have hit eternity. <laughs> Umeingia ndani ya umelele. Are we together there? Amen. Seven weeks. Majuma saba. You have to count seven weeks. Ilibidi uhesabu majuma saba. After the seven Sabbath. Baada ya sabato saba. That is Sabbath up to the Saturday. Ambao ni Jumamosi. Then the more after the Sabbath. Sasa baada baada ya sabato. Shall bring the wave loose. Mta mtaleta mikate ya kutukishwa. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come. Na wakati siku ya Pentecost ilikuwa imetimia. Oh, in the abaro. Wote walikuwa katika chumba cha juu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And people had from different places to celebrate the feast of pentecost kuja kusherekea siku ya sabato from heaven sauti mbinguni kama upepo unaovuka ilikuwa nini uzima wa milele roho mtakatifu akishuka mtupa uzima wa milele when did come ilikuja lini on the eighth day katika siku ya nane it is not by Nasi kwa bahati tu. Hiyo ni mpangilio wa Mungu. On the Sabbath, katika sorry, on Sunday, Jumapili, Sabbath, baada ya Sabato, Yesu alitoka kwenye wafu. Kwa vile niko hai, nanyi mtakuwa hai pia. Tunafuraha kwa ufufuo. It is good he died. Ni vyema yeye alikufa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But if he remain in the grave, Lakin angebaki, there will be no hope. Kaburina tungekuwa na matumaini. But when he rose again, Lakin alipofuka tena, alifuka tena because he lives kwa vile yuko hai nasi pia tutakuwa hai oh the resurrection is in our hearts ufufuo huu moyo ni wetu it happened on sunday ili tendeka jumapili oh the eighth day ama siku ya nane you go from sunday Kuna toka jumapili all the way to the other sunday hadi ile jumapili nyingine you finish the seven days unamaliza siku saba then you hit the eighth kisha unaingia siku ya nane to the first ambayo imerudi kwa ile and the eternity is always the eighth na umilele daima ni nane are you gonna there 2000 years miaka 2000 years miaka 2000 years miaka 2000 years miaka 2000 eternity umilele hallelujah miaka 1000 seven eh what does any sorry Oh all oh, these seven days he on the Sabbath and on Sunday ya Jumapili Jesus rose from the grave Yesu akafuka toka kwa wafu Hallelujah Hallelujah After seven Sabbath baada ya Sabato saba seven church ages nyakati saba za kanisa Hallelujah Hallelujah Seven Sabbath Sabato saba What does it represent Ina nini Seven church ages Vizazi saba vya kanisa. Hapo sasa ndio siri inaingilia. Tutaingilia so baada. Sasa baada ya nyakati saba za kanisa, Vizazi saba vya kanisa, what we come to? Tunaingia wapi? We go into another eighth day. Tunaingia katika siku nyingine ya nane. Nana what? Kwa maneno mengine, the kingdom ufalme descends down on the earth. Unashuka chini duniani. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. What is it? Ni nini? Eternity again. Umilele tena. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because when God has finished dealing with the seven ages. Maana Mungu akimaliza kufanya kazi na nyakati saba za kanisa. What comes next? Nini kinakuja? And I saw another mighty nami nikaona malaika mkuu akaona kitabu kidogo kiwa wazi hallelujah what is it alifanya nini kingdom of god ufalme wa mungu the lord himself bwana mwenyewe descending down akishuka chini not with his corporal body sio katika mwili wake wa kawaida lakini sasa in his fearfulness akiwa ndani ya mwili wake wa neno headship kichwa what is he coming to do anakuja kufanya nini to start the rapture kuanzisha unyakuzi to restore us back kuturegesha to baptize us again kutubatiza tena into the headship ndani ya kichwa the new testament church kwamba kanisa la galati Nifufuke na kuenda katika umilele. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Where are we now? Tuko wapi sasa? We have finished the seven church ages. Tunamaliza nyakati saba za kanisa. No we are still in the Laodicean church age. Ingawaje bado tuko katika kanisa la Laodikia? But spiritually speaking, lakini kuna 
We are not part of Laodicea. We have been lifted up. Where are we? We are in the headstone. And the headstone is on the top of Laodicea. We are in Laodicea, yes. The Laodicea is in Laodicea. I am swept because of Laodicea. I am working because of Laodicea I am changed because of Laodicea But inside The kingdom is being established Hallelujah. Hallelujah Oh we love the Lord Jesus All those things are just great That's why I want to go slow Ndio kwa sababu nataka niende pole pole. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we can catch them by the grace of God. Ili tuelewe kwa neema. So we saw last Sunday. Jumapili iliyopita, we saw that the prophet telling us nabii akituambia. The message source in prison. Katika ujumbe wa nafsi zilizo kifungoni. Eh uh, for seven. Jesus said, Yesu alisema, pray. Omba, thy kingdom come. Kwamba ufalme wako uje. Thy will Mapenzi yako be done in earth yatendeke duniani as it is in heaven kama vile ilivyo mbinguni then heaven kisha mbingu is brought down inashushwa chini duniani and we are na sisi brought up to heaven tunainuliwa kuingia mbinguni heaven is in you mbingu iko ndani yako na wewe uko ndani ya mbingu hallelujah hallelujah that is what it means hicho ndicho amani city tunaketi in heavenly places katika sehemu za binguni sasa in Christ katika Kristo Yesu we all believe that message to be the truth so tutaamini huo ujumbe kwamba ni wa ukweli Jesus Christ kwamba Yesu Kristo the son of God na Mungu redeems us anatukomboa we are no more creatures of time anymore sisi sio viumbe vya wakati tena sisi ni viumbe vya umilele umilele has dropped umeshuka in a body called time katika mwili unaoitwa wakati haleluya Hallelujah. And we are here. And we are there. Lakini tuko pale. Oh, it is good to be in Christ. Oh, ni vizuri sana kuwa ndani ya Kristo. The world has no effect on you. Ulimwengu hauna athari juu yako. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So this great mystery. Kwa hivyo siri hii kuu. Eh, brother Branham. Ndugu Branham. When he was uh, having that uh, when the when the, before he preached uh, that cross Jordan. Eh, kabla kuhubiri kwa eh, tuvuke. Before he said let us cross Jordan. Kabla ya kusema tuvuke Jordan. That is where all our promises na are. Hapo ndipo ahadi zetu zote zipo. There was a brother. Kulikuwa na ndugu. Who had given a prophecy. Alikuwa ametoa nabii. Let us go to paradox paradox 61. Eh, 12:10. Uh, eh, the, the one we read in 3:11. Let us cross Jordan for that's where all the promises lie. Tuvuke Jordan kwa maana huko ndipo ahadi zetu zipo. Seals. Mungu atatufunua. Let us see how it started. Hebu tuone ilianzaje. Let us start from verse 1. We don't want to read all of it. But when it was somewhere and after preaching, Nabii alikuwa mahali na baada ya kuhubiri and there was a man who came up there. Kuna mtu aliyekuja pale. Put his arms around him. Akamkumbatia 301 301 301. Put around his arms around him. Akamkumbatia. Was called his name was called Dan Henry. Ah uh, ana anaitwa alikuwa anaitwa Dan Henry. And he said brother Branham. Akasema ndugu Branham. Not to be sacrilegious. Na sio kuwa kwamba na uh, uh, shupavu wa kidini. Uh, uh, let us go to let us let us start together. We cannot hurry. Pamoja. Let us go to back to the 301. I, I will not hurry even if I preach on this I don't finish. Uh, sit and stand uh, haraka. It is just tremendous. <laughs> Hii ni ajabu sana. Hallelujah. Amen. This man came up there put his arms around me. Akaja akanikumbatia. And he said, "Brother, Kasema ndugu bwana, not be sacrilegious. Uh, but sio kwa mshupavu wa kidini. But that could have made the 23rd chapter of Revelation. Lakini hii ingekuwa ufunuo sura ya 23. And you know another no, book added, of course. He said, kingine kikiongeza bila shaka. He said, uh, he said that will be right, of course. Kasema we are not supposed to add anything to it. Pas kuongeza lolote. And as he started to say that. Na alipoanza tu kuongea hiyo. He started speaking in tongues. Akaanza kuzungumza kwa ndimi. And the boy didn't know what what speaking what speaking in tongues meant. Na huyo kijana hakujua kuzungumza kwa ndimi ilikuwa inamaanisha nini. I think it was a baptism or something like that. And as soon as he as soon as he did. Na mara tu alipofanya hivyo. Right, right in front of me. Mbele yangu. There was a French woman. Kulikuwa na mwanamke mfaransa. Uh, uh, needed, he said she said Akasema. that did need no interpretation unaona sasa ndimi halisi ni nini ukizungumza kwa ndimi there is an interpretation na kuna tafsiri 
unless there is interpretation. If there is no interpretation, kama kuna tafsiri, I will speak in tongues. Nitazunguka kwa speaking dimi, speaking your language. Lakini <laughs> wewe utanisikia na lugha yako kijaluo. Have you got that? Hey. This man did not French. Huyu mtu hakujua Kifaransa. Not one word. Hata neno moja. But when he spoke, lakini alipozungumza, it was pure French. Kilikuwa <laughs> Kifaransa kitupu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then that French woman said. Kisha yule mwanamke mfaransa akasema. That needed no interpretation. Hiyo hata uhitaji kutafsiri. That was pure French. Hiyo ni Kifaransa. A man over here got up and said. Mtu mwingine hapa akainuka na kusema. That is right. Hiyo ni kweli. And way back in the back. Na kule nyuma kule. There was an interpreter for the UN. Kulikuwa na mtafsiri wa umoja wa mataifa. He gave his name never been there before. Akapeana He said correctly that is right. Kweli kabisa hiyo ni kweli. All of them you know in the road what this man has said wote wakaandika kile huyu jamaa alikuwa amesema Dan Henry and he didn't know french at french at all and they all wrote down what he said wakaandika kile alikuwa amesema and all of them put their names there wote wakaandika majina yao like this one said huyu akasema and the three or five and this french man the second one over here he wrote it out because he had take take minutes of the meeting he said what he wrote and said i victor ledux akasema mimi victor ledux french man full blooded mimi ni mfaransa Nimezaliwa tena. Nimejaza na Roho Mtakatifu. I live at such such New York. Naishi New King Road, Los Angeles. Los Angeles. Attend the Bethel Temple. Na, naenda katika and, uh, 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 Pentecost minister. Mm, the Huduma uh, uh, Pentecost. Uh, 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 Pastor Pastor was Pentecost minister. And a translation of the prophecy given over Brother Branham. Uh, tafsira ambayo ilipewa kuhusu Dan Henry. Na ilipewa na Dan Henry kwa Kifaransa. February 11, 1961. Mwezi wa pili. At the full cost of business and breakfast. Here is the true translation. Hii tafsiri yake sasa. Because kwa sababu thou has chosen the narrow path. Umechagua njia nyembamba. Eh yeah. uh, see just uh, uh, I have to work with myself. I see I I can understand that. Moses had to, to take his choice. He didn't have to do it. But every one of us have to make a kila mmoja wetu lazima ufanye because thou has chosen the narrow path. Kwa vile wewe umechagua njia nyembamba. The hard way. Ile njia ngumu kabisa. Thou has made thou has that thou has worked of your own choosing. Wewe umefanya uchaguo lako mwenyewe. In other words, kwa maana mengine have to do it. Haikubidi nifanye hivyo. I can side in and go with them if I want. Ningeenda nao na. But I said without. Lakini kakaa nayo. That's going with the translation. Thou has picked the correct and precise decision. Umechagua njia iliyo sawa kabisa uamuzi sawa it is my way na hiyo ndio njia yangu let's go new with only to translation 3038 the translation because of this momentous decision na kwa ajili ya uamuzi huu mkuu eh a huge portion of heaven sehemu kubwa ya mbinguni always this inakungojea wewe haleluya amen here was the prophecy hapa kulikuwa na unabii and remember that this man is prophesizing and saying huyu mtu anatabiri na kusema the way you have chosen njia ambayo umechagua is the correct one ndio njia iliyo sawa it is my way ni njia yangu because of this moment of decision we have done kwa ajili ya uamuzi huu mkuu ambao umefanya kubwa over heaven ya mbinguni always the inakungojea now i want that sasa nikashangaa is it when i die je ni wakati nikikufa then i happen to think sasa nikafikiria heaven mbingu is not portioned off haijagawanywa vipande vipande in different portions vipande vipande for us up there hapo huko juu what is heaven mbingu ni nini heaven mbingu is the kingdom of heaven ni ufalme wa mbinguni that is within us ambao uko katika uko nasi one that, that one waits for now watch sasa angalia what a glorious decision ni maamuzi ya utukufu kwa ambao umechagua this in itself hii ndani yake is that which will give ni kila ambacho kitapeana come to pass na kufanya ikuje kutendeka tremendous victory ule ushindi mkuu in the love divine katika upendo wa kiungu or divine love ama upendo wa kiungu amen no god is love ni wangapi wanajua mungu ni upendo amen not a divine love ni wangapi wanajua upendo wa kiungu is the headstone ndio jiwe la kifuniko hallelujah so is it here mm, see it is it, 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 it uh, see it waona mm, see see we will say that it, it, it is the tremendous victory ni ule ushindi mkuu in 
Because katika upendo wa kiungu because the french and the english the verb and adverb come before whatever it is eh kwa kifaransa moja na tangulia nyingine nyingine nitangulia hii ama iko mbaya na you see what coming to jordan man lakini unaona kuja jordan ilimaanisha nini i will get there You see young prophet springing. Nabii anasema, "Dying this prophecy." Anaunganisha huu nabii crossing of Jordan. <laughs> na ile kuvuka ngambo ya Jordan. And coming down. Na kushuka for the of the of the huge portion of heaven. Kwa sehemu kuu ya mbinguni. Which is ambayo ni divine love. Upendo wa kiungu. Which is ambayo ni God himself. Mungu mwenyewe. The head stone. Jiwe la kichwa. The fullness of God. Utimilifu wa Mungu. Coming to us. Akija kwetu. Atakujaje? You see what is coming to Jordan man? Unaona kuja Jordan ilimaanisha nini? Haleluya. Haleluya. We are down here now. Chini hapa sasa. Let us quit, let us cross over. Sasa tuvuke ngao. Let us quit play. Tuache mchezo. Let us cross the other side now. Tuvuke pande ile nyingine. Because it all belongs to us. Maana yote ni yetu. It is all ours. Yote ni yetu. Them has never failed. Hayo maono hayajawashindwa kama na Kwa sababu yanatoka kwa Mungu. Mimi naamini na yote ile Sisi si wakodesha kwamba tutarudi kule jangwa. Sisi tutavuka Jordan. The separation. Kule kutenganishwa. And God Mungu break to us. Anatuvunjia. The seals that are on the back of the book. Zile mihuri ambazo ziko ndani ya kitabu. And in this great place now. Tuingie katika hii sehemu kuu sasa. Joshua. Kwa maana Yoshua. Divided the people. Aliwagawanya watu. Aliwagawanya urithi wao. And God for that. Mungu alikuwa amewaachia. Kwa hivyo sehemu kuu ya mbingu. God partition in heaven. Sio kugawanywa kule mbinguni. The of God. Ni ufalme wa Mungu. Ndani ya mioyo yetu. Hallelujah. And the kingdom of God. Na ufalme wa Mungu. He is God himself. Ni Mungu mwenyewe. He is the head stone. Yeye ndio jiwe la kichwa. He is the coming down. Ni kule kushuka chini. Of God himself. Kwa Mungu mwenyewe. Eternity. Umilele. God. Mungu be established. Akimarishwa ndani ya mioyo yetu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You love him with all your heart. Na mioyo yenu yote. Want to expound on that a little bit. Nataka nielezee hiyo kidogo. Hallelujah. Amen. So we see here Tunaona hapa after the seven church ages baada ya vizazi saba vya kanisa after seven days baada siku saba Jesus rose from the dead Yesu alifuka kutoka kwa wafu on the eighth day katika siku ya nane after seven weeks baada ya majuma saba on Sunday Jumapili after the seven weeks baada ya majuma saba the Holy Ghost came Roho Mtakatifu akaja Yesu proclaims yote inatangaza of eternal life kuhusu uzima wa milele what is eternity sasa umilele ni nini? Itanite umilele starts unaanza in your heart ndani ya moyo wako when you receive unapopokea the true baptism baptism wa kweli of the holy ghost wa roho mtakatifu haleluya so we are not talking of something mystic hatuongei mambo ambayo yaeleweki tunaongea kuhusu roho mtakatifu but now when you bring in the king in that holy ghost lakini ukimleta mfalme ndani ya roho mtakatifu hapo tutaweza kuona utimilifu wa, 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 wa ufalme are you following there now unafuata? that's what we are trying to bring out so let's go to adoption part 2 I mean part 2 yes uh, because the kingdom of god kwa sababu ufalme wa mungu starts right here in our hearts unaanza hapa katika mioyo yetu haleluya I hope I'll be able to reach somewhere before we close because my time is running very fast. Natumai nitafika mahali kabla ya kufunga na wakati tunayoma. So let's quickly read a paragraph 70. Yeah, 70. So we see here. Tunaona hapa. What we are trying to say is kila ambacho tunajaribu kusema ni kwamba You begin your eternal life Unaanza uzima wako wa milele. Right here at the altar. Papa hapa madhabahuni. Here is where you start eternity. Hapa ndipo unaanza umilele. Haleluya. When you accept Jesus Christ. Unapomkubali Yesu Kristo. How many believe that say amen? Hapa naamini yeye sema amen. How many believe they have the Holy Ghost say amen? Hapa naamini wana Roho Mtakatifu. If you have the Holy Ghost. Ukiwa na Roho Mtakatifu. Tayari wewe ni kiumbe cha umilele. Shetani amekupotesha. The devil has lost you. No matter what he does. Even if he cries. He cannot. When you are sealed. Wakati mtoto mhuri ndani. Yanafungiwa nje. So you are already eternal. Kwa hivyo tayari wewe ni wa milele. Trapped. 
Inabodi kori tahe. Ukiwa umenaswa katika waka, mwili. So wakati. you are eternal. Wenu wa milele. God is. Vile tu mungu wa livyo wa milele. The Holy Ghost. Roma mtakatifu. Is that amen? So you start, that's why you start your eternity. Do hapo ndipo unaanza umilele wako. You start your eternal life. Unaanza uzima wa milele. Right here. Papa hapa. Then you are born again. Kisha unazaliwa tena. Son of God. Kama mwana wa Mungu. When you die. Na ukifa. When death strikes. Mauti yakija. Now listen to this. <laughs> Sikiza hii sasa. I like I like this and I had. It. Hii ni mzuri hebu sikiza. You know what you had, the, the, what you have now? Unajua kile ulicho nacho? Just a shadow. Ni kivuli. Of the shadow. Cha kivuli. Of the shadow cha kivuli kingine of the real one <laughs> cha ile ahalisi haleluya amen can you see a shadow of a shadow of another shadow hebu fikira kivuli uh, no, cha kivuli are. cha kivuli kingine hata you can't hata uwezi kaoza paulo anasema kicho halijawahi kuona sikio halijawahi kusikia mambo that god ambao mungu has reserved for us ametuwekea oh brother oh ndu this world is nothing ulimwengu huu ni bure nothing bure kabisa when i look in the, in the mirror nikijiangalia kwenye kioo natambua i have don't have many years <laughs> sina maka mingi ambayo imebaki lakini namshukuru mungu it is just changing houses ni kubadilisha tu nyumba makao. Ni makao tu nafadilisha. Amen. Na ni kweli kabisa. And it's, it's true. the sweetest thing to die. I'm telling you to die in Christ. Hey, kufa ndani ya Kristo ndio kitu kitamu sana. Ambacho unaweza kuona. True believers who die in believers. Waamini wao kweli ambao ni kufa. Oh jamani. There was a man called it will that Moody. Kuna jamani kwa Moody. Dwight Moody. Dwight Moody. Eh Dwight Moody. Hallelujah. He was there in 18 something there. Alikuwa kwa miaka 1800 huko. And then when he was die. Alipokuwa kifa. They were telling him. Walikuwa namwambia. Oh they were telling Moody. Walikuwa na Moody. Do you know you are die? Je, una you una kufa? I don't know the word the terminology they use. They told him. Tam- akawaambia. What do you think I'm dying? At m- this una- is my coronation day. Sasa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, hii ni siku yangu ya, ku, ya kuinuliwa. Habari ya kuvikwa taji. Kuvikwa taji. It is coronation day. Na kuvikwa taji. You know when you have gone triumphantly. Wakati umeshinda. And you have fought the battle. Na umepigana and vita. And you have won the victory. Na wewe umekuwa mshindi. There comes a day of recognition. Kuna fika siku ya kuvikwa taji. It is a coronation day. Siku ya kuvikwa taji. Hallelujah. There was a man called FF Bosworth. Jamaa mwingine alikuwa anaitwa FF Bosworth. He was there in the time in the first Pentecostal uh, revival. Katika uvivu wa kwanza wa Pentecost. Ambao ilianza kwenye mtaa Azusa. And, and you know when the when the street revival continued for a while. Wakati huo uh, uvivu uliendelea kidogo. You know it cooled off. Ikatulia ikapoa. And even uh, uh, FF Bosworth it cooled off. Na hata FF Bosworth alikuwa mpoa. He sort of retired. Ni kama alikuwa God working wonders in the middle of Brother Branham. Lakini alipokuwa akiona Mungu akifanya miujiza ndani ya ndugu Branham. All the boss was revived. <laughs> Every boss was akainuka tena. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said Brother Branham. Akasema ndugu Branham. Oh this years. Miaka hii yote. This is the purpose of the Holy Spirit. Since Pentecost. Tangu Pentecote. This is what we have been waiting for. Hiki ndicho tumekuwa tukisubiri. He believed it. Akaiamini. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He was Brother Branham all through. Alikuwa na ndugu Branham wakati wote. And when he came to die. Na alipofikia kufa. Brother went to see him. Nabii akaenda kumuona. Alipokuwa kifa. He was in Brother Bosworth. Akamuuliza ndugu Bosworth. What the what is the greatest time of your life? Ni wakati gani mkuu sana wa maisha yako? Oh, the thing you have done Akam... since you believed. Mambo yote oh, ambayo umetumia tangu ulipoamini. Mambo yote ambayo umepitia. He said Brother Branham. Ndugu Branham. This is my greatest time. Huu ndio wakati wangu mkubwa kabisa. Oh my life. Wa maisha yangu yote. Oh brother my help him. Ndugu Branham akamshikilia. Right he said. Akalia akasema. My father my father. Babangu babangu. The chariots of Israel. And the horsemen they Magari are Israel, like Elisha. Na farasi kama Elia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh brother. Oh ndugu. There is a heaven to go to. Kuna mbinguni ya kwenda. And when he was about to die. Na alipokaribia kufa. Oh the man had been on the, on the, on, the, on the bed. Akiwa kwenye kitanda amelala. Bed ridden. Amelala amekunjoni. Akainuka. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He revived. Akavuvuka. And he said greeting people. Na akaanza kusalimia tu watu kwa hewa. Who you could not see. Ambao ungeona. But he himself was seeing. Lakini yeye mwenyewe alikuwa anaona. Because he was crossing over. Sababu alikuwa anavuka. Amen. Hallelujah. And for one hour. Na kwa saa moja. He 
created a sign alisalimia watakatifu ambao walikuwa wameenda kwa Bwana alikuwa Mungu akubariki Mungu akubariki Mungu akubariki and he went back on the bed akarudi kwa kitanda kulala akafunga macho amen hallelujah It is good to be in the law. Ni vyema kuwa ndani ya Bwana. Life here is nothing. Hapa hakuna chochote. Hakuna chochote. Are you be so sure? Uona hakika. This is eternal life. Uzima wa milele. This is the place. May you not take any chance. Usi usi hatishe Mungu anisaidia kusaidia. Life here is nothing. Maisha hapa ni bure. There is a hope heaven to God. Kuna mbinguni ya kwenda. Heaven is real. Mbingu ni ukweli. The word of God is real. Neno la Mungu ni la kweli. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So heaven Kwa hivyo mbingu has come down. Imeshuka. We are caught up in heaven. Tumenyakwa mbinguni. We start heaven right now. Tunaanza mbingu Where hapa. Where you are? Pale ulipo. We are born again. Ukiwa umezaliwa tena. You start your eternity. Unaanza umri wako. You are born again. Wakati unapozaliwa tena. So when you die. Kwa hivyo ukifa. Branham says. Branham anasema. When when you when 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 your death strikes. Wakati mauti ikigonga. When death strikes you in this body. Mauti ikikugonga katika huu mwili. And you, and your heart quits beating. Na moyo wako unaacha kudunda dunda. You come around with all the the cages of oxygen and wanakuja na oxygen nini nini wanakuekeleka lakini Mungu akisema umeenda umeenda waweke oxygen zote umeenda wewe rudi haleluya and your and your heart quits beating na moyo wako unakoma and the will begin to stand still na miguu yako inasimama ama grudumu za dunia hii zina maisha ya dunia hii inasimama zinasimama and the 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 and the come to stand still na zinasimama haleluya and the next and uh, that little shadow that little shadow na kile kivuli kidogo that was a shadow of the shadow kivuli cha kivuli hallelujah which is in you now kilicho ndani yako sasa in one second kwa sekunde moja i'm the shadow of the shadow inafanyika kivuli cha kivuli hallelujah the next one comes kile kingine kinakuja now the shadow hallelujah ndio kina sasa kivuli then the next one becomes kisha ile nyingine sasa inafanyika it becomes a little trickle inakuwa kitu kidogo then the next comes ingine inakuja inakuwa kadogo zaidi then the next comes no itakuwa kubwa zaidi itakuwa kubwa zaidi then the next comes ambaye ingine inakuja it becomes a river haya inakuwa ni mto then the comes kisha ile ingine inakuja inakuwa ni bahari then the next at a while baada muda you are standing in the presence of your love haleluya unasimama mbele ya uwepo wa wapendwa brother is not just talking about history na nabii aongee kuhusu historia siku moja alikuwa amelala kitandani days before he had preached this sermon siku chache kabla ya kuhubiri huu ujumbe alikuwa amevuka akaenda ngambo ile haleluya amen oh is a real one brother kunayo halisi this is just a shadow of the shadow of the kivuli tu ya kivuli ya kivuli oh, it is just nothing compared ni bure ukilinganisha baada muda you call you 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 stand before the shadow then you call the greek then you come to a river then you come to a ocean kisha unakuja kwa, kuchu, kwa bahari basi unakuja mbele ya wapendwa Amen. Then you say precious brother. Sema, hey, don't be saints man. waiting for us. Utakuwa na watakatifu. I want have to cross Jordan and Allah. Sitavuka Jordan peke yangu. Kuna wengine wananingoja. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am so glad. Na furaha sana. I want have to cross Jordan and Allah. Sitaivuka Jordan. Oh glory to God. Oh tukufu kwa. We know it's not Jesus waiting for us. Tunajua Sio Yesu anayetungoja. His loved ones waiting for us. Ni wapendwa wetu. Jesus is on the higher level. Yesu ako katika upeo wa juu. Akishuka, tutakutana naye hewani. And there'll be loved ones. Lakini kutakuwa na wapendwa. Kutakuwa na malaika. When is the hope died? When is the hope died? Wakati dada Hope aliaga dunia. And Abraham came. Ndugu Abraham akaja. Oh, he was crying God. Alikuwa akilia Mungu. May I just speak to her for a second? Hebu ninene naye kidogo tu. And God we reach in mercy. Mungu mwingi wa rehema. Broad her back. Akafufua dada Hope. And then he, Hope told Brother. Hope akamwambia ndugu Brother. Oh, why have you called me? Kwa nini umeniita? Oh, I was going up such a beautiful. Nilikuwa naenda mahali pa ajabu. Oh, things you are pricked up. Mambo yote ambayo umehudumu. Ni ya kweli kabisa. I was just going. Nilikuwa naenda. Then I was going to place where there were trees. Nilikuwa na miti. And some people and angel people came and scolded.
Nyoni na malaika walikuja alikuwa ananipeleka. Sasa ukaniita ukanirudisha. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you know when he came back, when Wajua, she came back, aliporudi, she no problem. Kambe ndugu Branham. Do you know what has happened to us? Unajua nini kimetendeka kwetu? Why I'm going ahead of time? Unajua kwani naenda mbele wakati? Because of the mistake you made. Ni kwa sababu ya makosa uliyofanya. Says I know that. <laughs> Nabii akasema najua. And you know what she said? Wajua alisema nini? Before I go. Kabla niende. I want you to forgive me one thing. Nataka unisamehe kitu kimoja. Now sisters listen. Dada skizeni, dada Kuna wakati ndugu Branham, Dada Hope alikuwa ametuma ndugu Branham kumnulia socks. Stockings, za wanawake hizi. And uh, he told her siphonia or something like that. <laughs> and, uh, there, were, there was one which was not very good was for all ladies. Kuna moja ilikuwa ya wanawake kidogo na kuna nyingine ilikuwa ya kisasa kidogo wakati huo. <laughs> So problem akasema wage nienda akaanza kusema siphone siphone akaenda kimba siphone siphone hivi asisahau akifika njia sababu said hey Billy hey after a while it's siphone imetoka kidogo eh akasahau ni nini aliwambiwa so akapiga kwa duka i want to buy stock for my wife nataka kunulia mkaangu stock what do you have mko na gani what are you sent ulitumwa gani which one do you have ni nini mko na gani oh i have i have we have this and we have this tuko na hii na tuko na hii how much are this hii ni pesa ngapi so much pesa mimi ah, i'll buy this because they are, they are, i'll buy two mtanua ah, mm, women don't know how to bargain mm. <laughs> women don't know how to bargain <laughs> i was surprised how <laughs> with the two mm. so he came on the way very hard and bila kaja me like two with, with the one with the money she used to buy for one na alikuwa amenipa pesa kununua pea moja so okay that think akapata ya sister hope She said thank you. Kasi Masanti. She never said, "Oh, you bought the wrong one." No. She just said thank you. you. Kasi mtu Asanti. She took them. <coughs> Akachukua. Bravo waited. Ndugu yangu. He never saw her where it. Hakuwai muona akivaa. Waited how old are you? Siku moja akipita kaona na mama yake amefaa. Then he let her learn they were for old ladies. Akajua oh. So when the hope came back. back. Sasa dada hope alipoona. You know that day of the socks. Akajua ile siku ya socks. I'm very sorry for what happened. Forgive me for that. Nisamee kwa hiyo. When you look at there there was nothing to forgive. Ukiona hapa kuko na kitu ya kusamehe. But she was such a humble lady. Lakini alikuwa mwanamke mwenyekevu. Please forgive me for that. Akasema nisamee kwa kile kitu. I you know I didn't wear them I give and I didn't tell you about it. Siku kuambia kuziuhusu. I'm just trying to tell you. Nataka nikwambie. Oh we are going home. Tunaenda nyumbani. Be sure everything is perfect. Uwe na hakika kila kitu kiko shwari. Oh shuari. you love him. Nampenda. Oh we have taken a lot of time on that. Nachukua muda mwingi hapo. Hallelujah. Amen. We love the Lord Jesus. Nampenda bwana Yesu. Thank you. We have only two hey, uh, just start my message. Ata kuanza peke yake. Hallelujah. Are, are you with me there? Je mnanifuata? So now we see here this mystery. Tunaona hapa hii siri. We are hey, itani umilele stars here where you are unaanza hapa mahali ulipo haleluya haleluya itanite umilele is eternal life ni uzima wa milele and itanite na umilele before you attain itanite kabla wewe kugonga umilele you go through the seven stages unapitia zile hatua saba eh, there is the seven stages kuna visa saba vya kanisa there is the seven days kuna siku saba there is the seven weeks kuna majuma saba came baptism of the holy ghost na ubatizo wa roho mtakatifu na pentecost na siku ya pentecost siku saba on sunday jumapili jesus rose from the dead yesu akafuka toka kwa seven ages na saba ya kanisa at the end of laodicia mwisho aliodikia the headstone comes down jiwe la kichwa linashuka chini haleluya haleluya the headstone comes down jiwe la kichwa linashuka chini are we together there je yeah, tuko pamoja hapo and na Yesu alipotoka kwa wafu akatuletea uzima wa milele. Roho mtakatifu alipokuja ilikuwa uzima wa milele. Na sasa yeye mwenyewe. Haleluya. Haleluya. The fullness of the world. Utimilifu wa neno. Jiwe la kichwa mwenyewe. Yule atakayekuwa katika umilele ameshuka chini. Oh glory to God. Oh tukufu kwa Mungu. Amenyakwa heavenly places katika kibinguni katika Kristo Yesu oh we love him oh tunampenda glory to god utukufu so kwa mungu sasa tuona hii siri kuu it comes inakuja after justification baada ya kuhesabiwa haki and sanctification na kutakaswa then you are baptized with the holy ghost ndipo unabatizwa na roho mtakatifu we may not be able to go into the redemption now wenda tutafika katika ukombozi sasa because of our time kwa ajili ya wakati but just introduce eternity lakini waacha tu so when we reach we come to we come to the redemption ili tukifika katika ukombozi we will understand it better i think we may go to help our reach next sunday 
So we see here. We have seen. Tumona. Eternity. Umelele. Is eternal life. <laughs> Ni uzima wa milele. And there's only one form of eternal life. Na kuna hali moja tu ya uzima wa milele. That is God. Na huyo ni Mungu. And God is the eternal. Na Mungu ndio ule wa milele. That's why we have eternal life. Ndio tuna uzima wa milele. Because we were always part of God. Kwa sababu daima tulikuwa sehemu ya Mungu. Hallelujah. So after seven days, baada ya siku saba, Jesus rose from the grave. Yesu akafuka kutoka kwa kaburi. After seven weeks, na baada ya majuma saba from the day of the sheep waving toka siku ya kutikishwa kwa mganga uh, siku ya pendekote there was seven there was seven, there were, there were, there were, there were, there were the, the, the holy ghost came on the sabbath roho mtakatifu akaja katika siku ya sabato after seven church ages baada ya nyakati saba za kanisa or after church ages ama baada vizazi vya vya, vya, vya makanisa from the time of Paul tangu wakati wa Paulo oh, hadi leo dikia we are caught up into heavenly places tukashikwa ndani ya sehemu za kibinguni because we saw here the bride on the on the on the, on the, on the first age on, on, on the of of the bride of the time of Paul tuliona hapa bibi harusi katika wakati wa Paulo she was a pure bride alikuwa harusi msafi but because she was not married lakini kwa vile hakuwa ameolewa 525 AD she went under mwaka 325 kabla ya Kristo akaenda chini. Then came the seven charge the dark ages. Baada ya Kristo samahani. Then after that came the dark ages. Baada hapo kaja nyakati za giza. And then from there came Luther. Toka hapo kaja Luther. She started coming up. Akaanza kuja. Then came Wesley. Kija kaja Wesley. And she was uh she we come up to the west. Kukaja hadi kwenye kiuno. Then came to Pentecost. Tukafika kwenye Pentecote. She had reached the arms and the mouth and the, and the, and the, and the, and the, and the neck. Ilikuwa imefika kwenye mikono na shingo. Up to Pentecost. Hadi Pentecote. We have gone through that. Tumeshapitia haya. Just just as having to help us to understand. Ni kitu ya kututusaidia tu wewe. Kisha hapa by one spirit kwa roho mmoja. We are now baptized sote tunabatizwa in God's God head ndani ya kichwa ama uungu wa Mungu this is the god head hapa ni uungu or, go, or, 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 or headstone ama jiwe so you kichwa. can see the mystery of the kingdom kwa hivyo waweza kuona siri ya ufalme after seven churches baada ya nyakati saba za kanisa you hear the eighth unafika ya nane after seven weeks baada ya majuma saba you hear the eighth unafika ya nane the holy ghost came Rome takatifu akaja. Baada ya siku saba Jesus rose from the dead. Yesu alifuka toka kwa afu. Uh, uh, and, uh, and we can see let us go back to the book of Leviticus. I want you to introduce them. Hebu turudi katika kitabu cha mambo ya walawi. Nataka tu kutanguliza kwa kutanguliza. Hallelujah. Hii. You know these things are so great. Mambo haya ni makuu sana. Before you go far you have your time is up. Kabla hujaenda mbali ukatumisha. For hours. Nabii alichukua masaa manne to preach that. There's something wrong. The prophet preached the future home for hours. Nabi alihubiri makao ya usoni kwa masaa manne without breaking. <laughs> Bila <So> we, have, <laughs> we, 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 we have saying I'm praying for hours. Go be about seven for hours here. You know you are, you know, people will see you. <laughs> well, I'm just joking. Amen. Leviticus where we were? Where we read 26 yeah. 23. So we see here. Kwa hivyo tuona hapa. After the feast of Pentecost, <coughs> baada ya siku kuu ya Pentecote, which we read in verse 15, what from the story of the of the, of the waving of the loaves. Kwa kutikishwa kwa mikate. Then there was a long period. Kutakuwa kulikuwa na kipindi kirefu sana. From the fast from 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 about 50 days after the death of Christ. Kutoka kwa yapata or 50 something 52 53 days after the death of after the, 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 the death of Christ baada ya kifo cha Kristo it went a very long period kulienda kipindi kirefu sana all the way hadi up to the seventh month mwezi wa saba that is from the first month which is around march april eh, mwezi wa kwanza, kwanza ambao ilikuwa ni eh, mwezi no, wa 3 you know, starts around march and april wayahudi mwezi unaanza the month of nisan and the month of of nisan or or yeah the, 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 or, or abib the, 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 the beginning of the month 
of, eh, of the year mwanzo wa mwaka eh, wa yahudi the month of the jews eh, mwaka wa yahudi started wa yahudi. starts around march or april that's why it is kwanzi, around that time kwa maana eh, pasaka iko wakati huo but you know, of course easter yeah easter is around that time pasaka iko so, wakati huo so eh, from the passover eh, kutoka eh, wakati wa pasaka when the jews calendar starts wakati kalenda ya wao the way umbali wote eh, It was only 50 days. Ilikuwa tu siku 50. About one and a half month or one yeah, around there. Eh, mw- We have the, 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 the Pentecost. Kukaja Pentecote. But from that time, lakini kuanzia huo. From the second month, if I'm not wrong, mwezi wa pili. Oh, the way to the seventh. Hadi mwezi wa saba. There was now the feast of 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 trumpets. Kukawa na siku kuu ya baragumu. Are we together there? Let us look at it. Hebu tuangalie kidogo. Uh, 23 and the lord spoke unto moses saying speak unto the king of israel in the seventh month bwana kisha bwana kanena na musa na kumwambia nena na wana wa israeli uambie mwezi wa saba but now when they started here walipoanza hapa when they when they were having the passover walipokuwa wakiwa na pasaka it was the first month ulikuwa mwezi wa kwanza iko katika mstari wa 5 in the 14th day of the first month Which year is April March April first month Mwezi wa kwanza siku ya 14 ya mwezi 50 days 53 days came Pentecost Siku ya 53 zikaja Pentecote After Pentecost baada ya Pentecote Which is the second month ambao ndio mwezi wa pili We go the way up the seventh month Itaenda umbali wote hadi mwezi wa saba period hicho ni kipindi kirefu kabisa and that long period hicho kipindi kirefu is represented by the seven churches kinawakilishwa na vizazi saba vya makanisa are you to there with there because kwa sababu during the seven church ages katika zile vizazi saba vya makanisa they were to sell to to eat walikuwa wale leaven bread with leaven in it mkate ambao uko na chachu ndani yake verse 17 you you can see You shall bring out your habitation two wave loaves of two tenth deals they shall be of fine flour they shall be taken with leaven Mtatoa katika makao yenu mikate miwili ya kutikiswa itakuwa ya sehemu za kumi mbili za efa itakuwa ya unga mwembamba utaokwa na chachu You see Jesus Yesu, who is the passover ambaye ndio pasaka was an living bread alikuwa mkate sio sio lakini vizazi vya kanisa at the pentecost baada ya pentecote is living ziko na church showing ikionyesha in the church age kwenye vizazi vya kanisa in the church ndani ya kanisa there is no holy church <laughs> hakuna kanisa takatifu there is sin in the church kuna dhambi hallelujah kanisani. but in the church there lakini There kwenye kanisa also the bride. pia kunae bibi harusi pale God in out of this mess Mungu katika huu mchafuko amejitwalia bibi harusi We make mistakes Tunafanya makosa We misunderstand Tunaelewa vibaya God is rich in mercy Lakini Mungu ni mwingi wa rehema Hallelujah Hallelujah He understand Anaelewa He forgive Anasamehe If you are willing to say sorry Lord Ukiwa tayari kusema samahani Bwana Yeye atakusamehe So you in the chapter 7 chapter eight, Yes. kwenye vizazi saba vya kanisa ilikuwa imechanganywa na chachu haleluya all the way umbali wote up to seventh month hadi mwezi wa saba then there was the trumpet kisha kukawa na baragumu and the middle of the trumpet na baada ya baragumu there was the feast of atonement kukawa na siku kuu ya upatanisho then after atonement na baada ya upatanisho we have the feast of the tabernacle kukawa na siku kuu ya maskani and the tabernacle na baada ya maskani represent yaliwakilisha the millennia Milki ya miaka elfu. Because in the Tabernacles kwa maana kwenye maskani they used to build tents temporary walikuwa, tents. Walikuwa wakijenga mahema ya, Some ya muda. Using branches pra, using miti. Wengine wakitumia matawi. Branches matawi ya miti. Leaves or tents. Mata, temporary mahema, one, and they were to feed to have a feast there. Na walikuwa wao na sherehe mle ndani. Called the feast of the Tabernacle. Iliyoitwa siku kuu which ya, is a type of the millennium. Maskani ambayo ni And immediately after the millennium baada ya miliki ya miaka ya elfu let us speak to God of that father 34 speak of the king of Israel saying the 15th day of this seven month nena na wana wa Israeli waambie siku ya 15 ya mwezi huo wa saba 
which comes after the feast of atonement ambayo inakuja baada ya the feast of the tabernacle for seven days and the lord muda wa siku saba shall be a holy convocation siku ya kwanza kutakuwa ni kufanyika kazi yote ya utumishi seven days he shall over an offering made by fire on the lord mtasongezea bwana sadaka kwa moto siku saba siku ya 8 but on the eighth day lakini siku ya 8 shall be a holy convocation kutakuwa na kusanyiko takatifu and he shall over an offering made by fire on the lord nanyi mtasongezea bwana sadaka kwa moto a solemn assembly ni mkutano wa makini huu Musifanye kazi yoyote ya utumishi. So see, hey, Kwa hivyo unaona ni nane. There's no eighth day here. Really. Na hakuna siku ya nane. seven days in Mama, a week. Kuna siku saba katika juma. But here, lakini hapa baada ya maskani we enter into Tunaingia katika siku ya nane. What does it signify? Inaonyesha nini? Tunaingia ndani ya umilele. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Allah seven days. Baada ya siku saba. Jesus rose from the dead. Yesu akafuka toka kwa afu. Is that amen? Yoni amina? Allah seven days. Baada ya saba. On Sunday. Jumapili. The Holy Ghost came down. Roho mtakatifu akashuka chini. After seven days. Na katika siku when God has finished dealing with laodicia wakati Mungu alikuwa amekwisha kutenda kazi na laodikia what happened nini kilitendeka i saw another mighty angel niliona malaika mkuu what does it speak of anazungumzia nini we enter into heaven tunaingia ndani ya mbingu we enter into eternity tunaingia kwenye umilele and eternity comes to us na umilele unatujia the kingdom comes ufalme wako uje and the kingdom today ufalme leo is not just a kingdom si ufalme tu your king is here ufalme mwenyewe halisi uko hapa hallelujah Haleluya. The same Jehovah. Jehovah yule yule. Melkizedek. Melkizedek. Haleluya. Melkizedek. Melkizedek. Melkiz. Sorry, do they have a poor right? Melkizedek is here. Melkizedek yuko hapa. Haleluya. The same one. Yule yule. Was here. Aliyekuwa hapa. The man called Jesus. Katika mtu aliyeitwa Yesu. He was there in him. Alivikwa ndani yake. Haleluya. Haleluya. The same Melkizedek. Huyu huyu Melkizedek. Who had become flesh. Aliyefanyika mwili. Haleluya. Haleluya. On the of Pentecost. Katika siku ya Pentecoste. He called himself a bride. Alijipatia bibi harusi. The kingdom was here. Ufalme ulikuwa hapa. But it was not in fullness. Lakini haukuwa katika utimilifu. Because the king was not kwa maana mfalme hakuwa hapa. Sano anao seated tumeketi in heavenly places katika sehemu za kibinguni in Christ Jesus. Katika Kristo 